Captain McTeal. But as a lady, <laughs> it's a, it's a doozy. Um, so I've got the Admiral here for moral support as we uh, turn the screen over to not our typical chatting screen, but to our only screen. So, um, a little different this month is I did already braid. I braided and uh, put back my hair already. So we will have to test the sound out a little bit since we oh, a little bit. since we have uh, switched software over. I have not used the audio in this means. Again, the standalone mic is in the works. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. So you will see <coughs> we've got our Waypoint Wednesday, so once a month we are going to be doing things a little different. We'll be letting up from my creativity and we are going to be doing a makeup or face paint, um, FX, all of that kind of, um, based off of my nails. So we streamed on Wednesday. The sound is low. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Give me a second. Any better? Do do do. Okay. Yep. 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 I can change all of that here. <coughs> okay. And now again, I I know that the audio could be immensely better. Working on it. Um, looking at mics. I held off on getting the lighting because I wasn't 100% so. It's just pushing buttons back here. Because uh, I wasn't 100% sold on how I foresaw the finished setup and lighting for this, as well as the studio upstairs. After this past weekend, I got it all hashed out a little bit better. <clears throat> so the standalone mic and the lighting for the studio is in the works. Everything takes time. Everything takes time. Seems fine now. Awesome. Okay. He is, Stitch is here, he's been very needy today, um, let's hope he, he lets us do what we need to do. <sighs> so there's a lot going on around me, and I will uh, dive into a little bit of it first. So my nails, <clears throat> these are my newest nail sets. They uh, are based off of Astronomicon, so I know we do have a lot of friends that watch the stream or that are very supportive of me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Astronomicon is a pop culture convention that happens here in Michigan, Metro Detroit, to be exact, a little bit more precise. There will be some auto tickers that will, uh, I guess it's this way, that will scroll through in the chat as stream goes on. <clears throat> With the pandemic, everybody's fingers are crossed. We're hoping for the best. Everybody's expecting the worst, it's just kind of how, you know, the cookie crumbles these days. But tentatively, August 22nd, or 20th through 22nd uh, of this year, fingers crossed, again, so much could go awry, the dates could change, but hopeful. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hope for something, right? Uh, so that is the newest dates that we have. There's going to be a new location, a new venue for the convention because, one, the convention outgrew its original foothold. Two, the venue that we were using, unfortunately, is not, they haven't finished their renovations. And last that I knew, they weren't open still and didn't plan on, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, so there's a new, there's a new venue. That behind me. So I have my banner from last year's Astronomicon. I've got one of my promo hats here. I made Andy the astronaut. Um, and then this little tag tail here that hangs down from the witch's hat. It says Astronomicon on it. So. My, my going out hat one. <clears throat> uh, that's not yours. 
my limited edition. So if you went to the Astronomicon pool party, it's a color changing cup. So I have my color changing cups and then my promos from last year. I thought I had gotten rid of these, but there's still a whole lot. Did you do the astronaut uh, Astronomicon 4 logo? Um, no. So the Astronomicon logo is done by Astronomicon. I am merely a part of their cosplay. Uh, so here is me. I do cosplay and promo at conventions and concerts for them. So you'll see uh, Sid in the pictures off to what, the side here. There we go. Um, eventually he holds up too. He's been to Astronomicon. Rest in peace, Sid. But uh, it's it's a good time. It's a fun it's a fun time. I check it out. It might be uh, up your alley. It might not. You know, yeah. Not everybody, you know, likes the same thing. Expect the worst, hope for the best. There we go. <clears throat> so yesterday when we when I went out to get my nails done, I went and dropped off some fresh bread and cookies because remember, Mama Dis had been rationing out her cookies. Um, I dropped off cookies at her house. She gave me a Valentine's Day gift. So if you look at these, look at it's like Stitch on a sock. How cute. Uh, so that's 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 something fun. <clears throat> Ooh, what to do today? Initially, I was not sure what I was going to do for my nails, but as Monday ticked through and Tuesday's memories and Instagram feed uh, reminded me of what was on these, you know, like chunk of dates, 8th, 9th, and 10. Because uh, three years ago, 2018, today was a Saturday. And it was snowing so hard, it took us three hours to get 45 minutes to the convention. But it was a blast. Uh, so this is a fun convention. I'm glad that I can be a part of it. And I am overly joyed that my nails look as they do in, in inspired by Astronomicon vibes. There's Sid there, too. As I was laying in bed last night, I took my glasses off. And I went to go scratch my head, and I, I stopped for a second. Two of the nails on each of the hand glow in the dark. She didn't tell me that. <laughs> if you are somebody, too, that it lacks in the visuals. Oh. Fun. What is that? Darker Zero, I know. And Cheetone, I saw your comment earlier. Hold on, I need to go back through and do say uh, some hellos. I hastily started with the anxiety and nervousness which comes with not having a painted on face uh, so I missed some of my normals uh, first up hello I do want to say welcome I am Disfusional my friends call me Dis please feel free to do so as well this uh, little comfort bot down here is Space Admiral Stitch oh, oh thanks um, he wanted everybody to know that he is the real star of this channel I am just here as a comfortable and warm lap to sit upon Anemius, welcome, welcome. You were ow, why would you bite me? Why would you try to bite me? Because you know when you bite me, I've gotta slide you off my lap. Because bad kitties don't stay on the lap. What hold on. You're, you're you're pushing off on the keyboard. You're really resisting. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna boop. You can't bite people. You can't nip at people and think that that's how it's supposed to go. Cinemia, hello, I did see that you were here before, it was cool. Cheetone, uh, so this stream is under the beauty section, couldn't be more correct. You said that before knowing what was going to happen when the can came on. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't mind me, Darker Zero, hello and welcome. Swing Ninja, uh, did you do the Astronomicon 4 logo? Nope, I did not, okay, I got all that. Oh, okay, and he's back. Admiral wants some playtime. He does. I gave him tuna earlier, thinking that he would go into a... We played. I gave tuna. You're supposed to groom. Nap. And, like, he groomed a little bit and then started running around the house. Uh, and now he's grooming on my lap. Ay ay ay. What are you gonna do with him? Alright, first things first. I need to put in my contacts. I've been up in the air. <clears throat> Can you stop pushing me away from the desk? Like, it, you're you're not helping me. Um, I, 
I've been up in the air with what to do for my makeup, what wigs to wear. <clears throat> with looking through the images of the last few years, I'm like, okay, I should probably... What are you doing? What are you doing? I should probably wear the pink wig, which is my traditional... Uh, I don't know if it's traditional, but it's my go-to wig. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's short. Uh, I have longer hair originally, and so that would get really hot. You can only wear a hat so much before you just run out of hats to wear. Uh, ooh, Tuna makes my cat super active. Some say Tuna acts like a drug on cat. Well, typically, he sleeps. <clears throat> I don't know. I wasn't home a lot yesterday. I think I was gone from 9 a.m., to almost 11, almost midnight. I tried to stop off at Ikea. Um, that was a bust. They, <clears throat> in the inventory on Linesock, it said that it had items that they didn't have on the actual shelves. So alas, I was left not being able to get anything. Um, I asked them, what what would you recommend the protocol be for ikea -ing? <clears throat> And they basically said to get her as soon as it opens, have one person go upstairs, one person go downstairs, and meet at the cash registers. Like, wow, okay. Um, so, got my catalogs. I know exactly, so I... we. Walked through all the aisles, saw all the empty bins, um, know where the items I need are for the studio. It's just a matter now of going and getting them. So that's that's unfortunate. But I think that's why he's also very active because I just wasn't here. I wasn't here to wake him up or to to pester him, to poke him. Right? I, I wasn't home. I wasn't home. I'm sorry. But I had to get my claws. I. I gotta get sharper claws than you once in a while. <clears throat> Before I put contacts in. Just watching the bubbles go up in my straw. <clears throat> Got some sugar-free Red Bull yesterday on my outing. That way I didn't have to go out again. Picked you up some food too, huh? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Take care of the knot in our throat. Huh. <sighs> Take a, a heavy sigh before we dive into this. So I've got a couple things up on my screen here for reference. I've got some, like, galaxy and makeup images. I will say... It seems like everybody does the exact same thing. And I pulled up some Astronomicon images, and I giggled because if you type in Astronomicon, you'll see my Med Moxie. Just miss it so much. So many friends. Oh, okay. Besides this February feeling like it's lacking, you should ask them some sponsors. Uh, you should ask them some sponsorship. <clears throat> so, uh, I get in, I, I do have, it's not a sponsorship with Astronomicon. Uh, it's more like a, uh, a partnership in, I can't, okay, so I can't, I can't just, oh, you mean Rebel. Okay, okay. I was like, I was like, I can't really, do, I, it's, it's hard to explain, but like, we're family. Astronomicon and, and Disfusion are our family. Red Bull. I have tried. I am but a piece of sand in a large, large, large beach of naked people. They're not looking at the sand. <laughs> Let alone the grain of sand that's being swept out into the ocean. <laughs> Band speed run. Uh, hello, uh, float -a boat Welcome. Interesting. You gotta, you gotta enjoy people. Okay. Cool.
Um, all right. Just uh, take care of that. I don't. I don't get that. No. So. Oh. Okay. Sorry. I was dealing with the one float a boat who decided he was going to or they were going to come in <clears throat> to stream to. There is nothing that a troll on the internet can't t say to me through their monitor that a high schooler has not told me to my face. Again, high school teacher for five years. There ain't shit you guys can say to me on the internet that a high schooler hasn't said to me to my face. And they meant it. Probably more so than the trolls on the internet do. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I am going to place some lotion on my face to begin with. Uh, I could chat the day away, but uh, alas, we got things to do. Um, and so in regards to Red Bull, so I'm putting on my face right here. I've got Clinique. I took the chroma key off, so you guys should be able to see everything um, that I used today. I also flipped it so that you guys would be reading it correctly. Again, we're learning. We're growing. So I just lotion my face, making sure that I'm hydrating my pores before I put ample amounts of makeup on it. No one's getting any younger here. No one is. True statement. <sighs> Looking down at what I have. There's the, okay. Just wanted to make sure I had all the foundation. I am going to use some slightly larger, they're going to be mini silicas uh, in black. Templar Knight, those got to be one thing no one said. I would ask my cousin who got in trouble a lot in high school. But she's a joke. <laughs> yeah, no. I. Ha. Huh. Kids. And, and I worked with, uh, when I was teaching back in Detroit, you can't be up on my lap right now. I'm sorry, buddy. No, no, no. Um, when I was teaching kids in Detroit, I was also the varsity softball coach. I was also the, uh, the lady that they would go to to build sets for the musicals. I don't think you guys are ready for that. So, uh, first stream, I braided my hair for you guys. Second stream, I'm going to touch my eyes for you guys. <laughs> Me. I was a good child. I mean, I was pretty good, too. I, I had my moments. But I picked and chose what battles I wanted to fight. Um, and just being disrespectful for no apparent reason. Like, why, why, what? Being defiant and being disrespectful can be completely different. <laughs> Alright, pardon me. I'm going to just grab a tissue. It's right on the other side of this curtain. Alright. Just to kind of blot away some of I mean I was a good job I'm getting younger well you know what darker zero whatever you're doing to uh, anti-age send that one send that send that my way too please I gotta go to the doctor today my nerves are shot oh Templar knife I'm sorry to hear that please be safe Excalibur Jack, hello, welcome, welcome. I do have to say, uh, this is going to be different for some of our new uh, Tenos and fan community members, if you will. Once a month, I do something different than play Warframe. Don't worry, I know Star Days comes out tomorrow. I'm going to start streaming up at 2, we're going to do a little mini stream, maybe I'll end by 6, maybe a little earlier, but I'm going to get all my Star Days stuff with you guys so, so don't worry about that. 
I have once asked for a sponsorship for a League of Legends team, and some brands were really cool, but asked very strict uh, about average view count, followers. Yeah, yeah, and so those were the requirements. They had in uh, spots, so for Red Bull, forgive me, I am a space cadet, you know. For Red Bull, they had on their website, you could request it, but like you had to fill in entry spots, and I know that Ninja is a sponsor by Red Bull. Who do I think I am? <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm down for hanging out. I'm really down for hanging out. We've got a different setup today. Typically, this is just black. But Astronomicon... It, Astronomicon is a convention that happens in Michigan. I am a guest at it. I work with their cosplay department. I hand out cash to uh, people in very, very, very dapper threads. Or, you know, I judge the cosplay contest and give out money and trophies. <laughs> but typically it would be this upcoming weekend. Life's a roller coaster pandemic is raging through our streets and so they've prolonged it to August 20th through 22nd again tentatively things here in the states kind of come and go hot and cold we'll see what happens but that's what we're shooting for that's what I'm shooting for I am going to be making a new cosplay we had hoped to be able to pick up some things for Ikea uh, what do we got here if you link your PC specs, can share you some percentage of sales that come from your links. Oh, Razer does that. Razer does that, Cheeto. I looked into I looked into uh, to doing that as well, but my Razer headset is so busted that I can't even like pretend to be using it. No. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna shat myself. Well, Templar Knight, you uh, might want to excuse yourself and go to the restroom. I want to uh, be sure you put on context. Oh, <laughs> Toki Bowman, just to be sure you put on context. Yes, I, I just applied contacts on stream. I just applied. I'm, I'm letting them sit in to, to blink a little bit, see if they're going to tear up anymore before we start diving into um, foundation. No, I'm good. It's just my nerves. Okay. I, uh, you know what? Templar Knight, I actually get in the same situation as you. My stomach gets very, very, very upset. Um, like, we're all human, right? Um, but you know, like that bubbly feeling of just unease and it typically happens for me the day before a very large convention that I am going to be judged at uh, there's for some reason that that just even I can have everything already like packaged labeled presentation good to go my note cards like and I will just be laying in bed and just feel horrible so I my my thoughts are with you. I, I hope that whatever is making you nervous uh, dissipates soon. My eyes will be like that once I get arrow wings on my wings. Ooh! <laughs> so I went with the one of my most comfortable pair of contacts, and these are the mini silicas from uh, Unisk. I think is how they're called. Um. Oy. They are linked on my Instagram, so if you go to any of the most recent posts, they are linked in the products that were being used, um, and they are linked on the actual image for the contacts. I get all of my contacts from the same distributor. Good afternoon. Hello, Pink. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I even have my Astronomicon shirt on today, too. I am I'm going hard. Going hard. Okay. I can't look at my face anymore without foundation on it, so let's, let's even out this poor skin tone. Let's even out this poor skin tone. Like, what is this? It's like... Extra dry skin patch. It's currently negative seven right now, so you may hear the furnace kick on uh, a little more than usual. 
And I'm just going to blot this all over the cheeks. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Pardon me. Ooh. I have a I have a mirror off to the side here. I'm not just Plenty Eclipse. Hello, hello. I am doing well. I am doing well. Hey Fusion, how are you today? That actually was a nickname of mine back in college. I'm Templar Knight, I see that, but I am not going to let that uh we're gonna we're gonna keep some some things private. I'm going to not display that. But I am I am sorry of your current situation. So I'm just trying to create a base Make sure you bring your makeup Oh man. Drop the mirror. That's what I get for sitting in this chair like a dingbat. He was my okay, yeah. Right. Uh, so my foundation, I am using the CoverGirl Outlast Active. It is a 24 hour foundation. It does have sunscreen in it. It is the 805, what did they put? Ivory is what they put it at. Oh, I'm down a little low. My bad. I will end up be blocking out my eyelids later, so it doesn't even matter. Dark Azira, see him! Drop a smoke bomb and disappears in the cloud. Green farts. Hey! Now the wig will be covering my ears, so I'm not going to worry about uh, the makeup seamlessly or, you know, if I've got a cheek to ear situation going on. I like to, and again, this is just a personal preference, after laying down my foundation, I like to go in and do a circular motion over top. Ooh, Templar Knight, that is, that is disgusting, um, <laughs> if I may say so. Uh, again, I'm sorry, but that, uh, yeah. Alright, I am going to place my socials in chat. How to unread. If you would like to check out last month's nail FX where we were gluing petals to our face, they are up right now. <sighs> All right, so we've got our foundation laid out. Just making sure that it matches from face to neck. We're good there. I'm going to just do the, uh, who, do I want my eyelashes? Here we go. Do I want my eyelashes to be this color or do I want them to be pink? Um, all right, so we are going to drop a poll. Do we, uh, well, I guess we'll, we'll just sound off in chat. Do we do normal eyebrows or pink eyebrows? are kind of uh, unruly. Your vote is for normal? Normal eyebrows, not pink ones. I will, I'll show you the wig that we're going to be wearing. Here's 
the wig. Ooh, drop a pole. Okay, we've got an actual pole being ordered up. Doing it. right above in your chat you can vote for normal eyebrows or pink eyebrows so uh i have a little bit of everything i was gonna <laughs> we've done we've done green eyebrows we did green eyebrows for uh morgan the dark star office look i did put a different nose ring in for today too just so we could stick with the I don't know, there's a lot of piercings I'm just realizing. As I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh, girl, you couldn't just stop at one, could you? Yep, yeah, the current poll is uh, at the top of the chat. What color for eyebrows? It literally looks like it's a one-off, one-off battle. <laughs> oh no, two for pink, one for normal. Two for normal, two for pink. Wow. I was trying to set it up. The poll did not work. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, you know what? It might have been, too, that I was trying to set it up in the middle that you were trying to set it up. Things are a little weird. I took off some of the, the award features. Just throw the wig away. Because I didn't want to get up a lot kind of lazy, kind of have makeup everywhere already. If it ends up 50-50, will you do one normal, one pink? Sure! I can, I can, I can be down for that. We would definitely then, but then would we have to split the whole entire look? That's the question. If it's a tie, go 50-50. <laughs> King Africa. Uh, hey, how are you, Disfusional? I am doing well, King. How are you? Did you get rid of Nightbot? Yes, I did. I did get rid of Nightbot. I'm working. So if you're looking for a poll, we are still working on trying to get stream elements and all of its features up and going. I just noticed today that the timers for Nightbot, even though I said export and import over to stream elements, didn't. Go figure. Go figure. <laughs> um, that's why. Well, they have they have certain. Uh, there are more commands for steam or stream elements. I unclicked a bunch of them because I didn't know what they meant, and without being able to really dive and read and see what does what to make sure that we do want that activated, I thought it was best to just get rid of it than to keep it. Uh, so again. My list for this weekend, if you, uh, congratulations to all of our 1K, uh, bit cheer community members, your email was approved, as well as the 10K, so I can show you guys how, this is so cool, I, it's me with the paracesis. I am kind of sad, so I came here to tell you a joke, before you want to hear it, yes, if, if you tell me a joke, King, I will tell you a joke. Cute. I thought it was. I thought it was Togi Bun Bun. There were emotes of. Uh, I'm guessing they were Twitch Twitch streamers, and they're like holding little. They're in chibi form, holding knives, and I was like, you know what would be really cool? Holding the parasitas. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate it month. Yeah, I when you guys let me know, I'm creating a list behind the scenes. Yeah, there are a lot of things that I need to 
we got the initial guts up and rolling um, this weekend. I do need to fine tune a lot of things behind. All right, so here we go. Six was scared of seven because seven, eight, nine. That's why was ten scared because he was in the middle of nine, eleven. Oh no, dark humor. That's a good one still though. Number humor. All right, all right, King Africa. I've got a joke for you. Are you ready? Ooh, three for pink. Two for normal. Pink eye brins. I will be... We're getting pink eyebrows today. I, will, I won't I will make them like a... Ah! Pink. I'll make them... Ah. They're pink. Okay. Here we go, King. What do you call a pile of kittens? Any guesses? A mountain. A mountain, a pile, a mountain of kittens. A pile of kittens is a mountain. It's a knee slapper. <laughs> mountain, it's a mountain. Again, teacher jokes. I got a bag of them. <laughs> All right. I'm going to uh, move on a little bit here. We're going to pick up some blush and bronzer. I'm going to do a base coat or just how I would traditionally lay out some face. And then we will go into how we want to zhuzh it up. Um, so I'm going to pick up some... There we go. i go with some bronzer here. So I just go with... Nothing too crazy. It's very worn. So judgment free zone, please. This is the CoverGirl Bronzer 104 in a golden tan. Nothing too dark. Um, I'm a very, very, very pale skin tone. So it's nothing too dark there. But it is a bronzer product. CoverGirl. I do a flat brush for my bronzer. No reason in particular. Well, I guess I do have a reason in particular. It lays down flat against my cheekbone because when I suck it in. So, again, along the side over here, oop, over there, <laughs> you are going to see fun pictures from last year's Astronomicon, as well as the nails. Now, I don't have that like electric green color. Oh, whoa, hold on. Maybe I do. I might. LA Colors, you might have just come through for me. Because, you know, the, like those those two... Those Make two nails? Just subscribe. Thanks for being awesome. Oh, Waka Pelly, thank you for being a gem of a human being. I... I've enjoyed your company, and I'm sorry that I know... I know today's stream is really just... Like, I, I shook a dice and rolled it down the aisle there. Uh, but Warframe, guys, will be tomorrow. Star Days happens, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be there. All right. And you guys know me. It's not that I'm trying to put a lot on. I don't put a lot on to begin with. I like to layer my makeup. Because I live in Michigan. I don't need to pretend that I live in California. It's not like I've left the house anyways to pretend to need a fake tan. I like to hit where my hairline is, and as I do this, I'm remembering that the bangs for the front will come down to here. No one will see it. It's just part of the routine. <laughs> brush and I don't see it so we're just gonna use this one here then and I like to come in along the side of my nose not 
too noticeable on camera. It's not even too noticeable in person. But I can see the difference. The subtle difference. I'm not feel like, oh, look at all those emotes. Oh, they're just so cute. Here's my wife joke. Uh, took it from Reddit. I already like you're crediting your source. Here we go. Rhino walks into the bar. The bartender places a drink on the table immediately and says, No charge. Ah! Ah! That's a good one. That's a good one. No. No charge. Please, for the love of everything holy, no charge. <laughs> Alright, I am going to go into my cheekbones here. I think I picked them up off the same shelf. Uh, this is the CoverGirl Cheekers 105 in Rose Silk. I wish it was a little bit more pink. And every single time I use this, I go, man, I wish you were a little bit more pink. Um, it lays on a little bit more opaque than I would like as well. But here we go. Pew! Pew! And again, very worn. Very used. What this means, though, is the next time I go shopping, I get to get new makeups. I do not go all the way down. Well, for today, I'm going to actually come all the way down to here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It starts. We're just going to really bring pink. We'll dust the nose. My mother always told me you're supposed to put a little bit of blush up here and a little bit of blush down here. Don't know why, but because mama just says it. I'm going to do it. I ain't stupid. <laughs> I do want to say thank you to all the friends that are hosting our channel right now. Samir TM, thank you so much for the host. Who the F is JC, thank you so much for the host, dude. Jaja ja Cosplay, thank you kindly for that host. Kiro Pebbles, Biotechnic, Cursed Boops, some Herd Streamer Love, thank you so much for the host. And Roarlin, thank you so much for that host. Mama said so. Mama said so. If your mom, if your mother told you to do something. I mean, most of them, we're all adults here. We would, we would do it. <laughs> most of us would do it. Most, I, I do understand that some of us are not on the, uh, maybe the best of terms with our mothers. So forgive me that it may have been overstepping, but. A parental unit told us to do some. We gonna do it. I do not think I'm going to use my air spun today. I love my air spun. It is a uh, translucent. But I don't think I need it. Mm. Smells so good. All right, on to the next part. These eyebrows. So I have a confession to make. You know how some people have not gone and gotten their hair cut in months? I have not had somebody wax my eyebrows in months. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, they are the Armenian in me is showing through a little bit more so um, with with these eyebrows. Some days I wonder when they're supposed like where do they start and stop uh, 
But I do brush and comb them quite a bit. I <laughs> feel like if I don't... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we just brushed them out. And now I'm going to glue them down and put some color on them. Where is my glue? There it is. I think this is. I'm gonna start selecting. Now we said we were not going to go with a in-your-face pink. So these pinks that I have here, I'm not. I'm gonna hold off on these ones. Let's check my seance palette. Now that's a little bit purple. Okay, so this won't work for right now. I do, I do want to use the seance palette. I just don't know what for. All right, so I do have some pinks in here. So this is. The Impressed You Beauty Glazed Palette. I believe I picked this up on Amazon back in the day. I'm going to cover my keyboard, so pardon me, because I'm going to place this a little higher up now. Now we get, now we get dicey. Oop. I clicked a button that I shouldn't have. Just kidding. Oh, wow, that's okay. Don't do that. Oops. <laughs> Oops, just, just clicking things. Yikes! Okay. When it comes down to gluing one's eyebrows, it does not really matter what glue you use, as long as it is a... I mean, I recommend a stick glue. I know that some people have choose to do different glues. I've even seen some person use Elmer's glue. That's a little too intense. Like like liquid Elmer's glue and like get it down in between the <laughs> eyebrows. I'm re 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 decorating my orbiter. Check it out sometime. Oh my gosh, I would love to check it out. Uh, Excalibur Jack, I will be back on Warframe tomorrow uh, for a stream. I'll actually be on Warframe tonight after I'm done with. Because I got some night way to do. Gotta stay up on that. Stay up on that. We're gonna wipe off the little eyebrows that are stuck on here. Come on, eyebrows. That's weird. I can't wipe eyebrows onto my other eyebrows, even though they are my eyebrows. So this is just a like, praying glue stick. It is. It is your typical art craft glue stick. And I am just going to glue my eyebrows down. But I'm going to do them one at a time. Because as I glue them down, I'm going to pack pigment on top of them. Uh, so pardon me, I've got a extra mirror here. So I'm laying down the glue. I wash all of my brushes after this stream. Um, so I am going to comb out my glue because, again, whatever shape my eyebrow is in now is going to be the shape it's going to be in once it's pink. Um, an extra mirror. That's not cute at all. Oh, it's a little pig. Boop. You guys can see yourself. All right. She in a shape. She's in the best shape she's gonna get in. <laughs> oh no! I did what you're not supposed to do! I left the glue stick uncapped. You think I would have learned that lesson in elementary school? Story time! While I find a brush to pack down pink under my eyebrow. This almost got held back in kindergarten. Almost got held back in kindergarten. Can you believe that? Oop. For not sharing my crayons. Kids would break them.
I did not want to share my crayons with children who are going to push too hard and snap them, even as a child. Must protect the crayon. <laughs> Everybody has, you know, Everybody's got those things <laughs> just and uh so my mama just went in the the mother bear that she is you know why am I here you know parent teacher conferences she's gonna be held back she doesn't share and my mom goes is it her crayons lady goes yeah she goes because the other kids break them she doesn't share them with her brother at home either. <laughs> Colored pencils and markers are another thing, she told her. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So we are getting there, slowly but surely. Last stream, I just went over them with one of those Jeffree Star lipsticks. Makes me want to pick up a lipstick in pink that matches that wit. I just had a brilliant idea. It's hitting the light. Very weird. Interesting. One eyebrow down, now let's do the other side, right? We're getting crazy! Do I have any pinks in here? No, but I've got this great... Look at how bright this blue is. I wonder if we can do something with this blue today. So far, so good. Because we have uh, neglected the care of these caterpillars, this tail... I think I can get it to come down quite a bit. I can cut that in with some Mac later. That's what we'll do. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Time to glue the other side down. Uh, I like toss them down here when I'm done with them. I'm not thinking that I'm going to use them. Doing the other eyebrow. This whole DMCA stuff, really. So again, I put some glue down. I should not skip a step. I'm gonna comb it out. Making sure my bristles are laying down in the correct direction. I don't even think of gluing down eyebrows. That's so much. Well, I'm gluing them down because I wanna do a couple things. One, these caterpillars have a mind of their own and they're taking over my face. Uh, two, I want a quick and easy way so I can also choose to do this uh, with a primer um, and, I'll, and I'll, with the primer that I use for my eyelids I could also put on my eyebrows which would also um, it would have helped lighten them up too so like I am putting this over dark brows 
for one for next month I will I'll do the primer eyebrows look because my eyebrows will be a different color hot beauty tip for you if you run out of hairspray do not use glue we saw that too oh my gosh and when pink when she took the uh the con the shampoo and started scrubbing the shampoo onto her hair and then took the rag to wipe it off i almost i almost died Yeah, no, no, um, so, <laughs> I use Got To Be Glued. Got To Be Glued comes in a variety of different forms. So this is, this is what's holding my hair back right now, is Got To Be Glued. I've got a lot of flyaways, um, and all of that. It comes in a spray, it comes in this form, it also comes in an extra spiking mega hold, which I use on my wigs upstairs. She had ran out. It's only five bucks five seven dollars so like she had to been hard up for not wanting to leave the house because of pandemic to go to the store to get more that she oh man somebody i got that sent to me because somebody knew that i too used got to be glued and i'm like no i would have never in a million years been like gonna use some gorilla glue but that oh man No, Cheetone. Do you want to be single? Because that's how you'd be single real quick. <laughs> that would be like her replacing your shampoo with Nair. How would that feel? I would disclose. <laughs> But here, so here's the thing, got to be glued is water soluble. So as soon as it gets excessive sweating or water will make it get goopy and it will, you know, come out of your hair. Gorilla glue, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, it burns! <laughs> Uh, it sounds like somebody is speaking from experience on that one. Speaking from experience on the It Burns. So I do have some areas where the eyebrows are a little bit more poofy. I am just going to tack them down a bit. And then wipe off the pink from the glue stick. Put on here. Ha. Thanks over here. Okay. Put you over there, glue stick. Last runs on this eyebrow. I know, my right eyebrow likes to go up in the air a bit. Come back down to reality. So then I paint the other guy to match. <laughs> Ugh. Got to be glued fails here in Florida. Oh, is she in Florida? I didn't know that she was a Florida contestant, or a Florida resident. Justin Barley, good morning, good morning to you. It is the afternoon here, but I will cheers you with your morning coffee and or tea. No, but mostly of my friends are women and I've spoken about their nair product. So, 
to just lightly tap on that Lacapelli. So Nair, for females, Nair is kind of like the, ooh, my daughter is just getting to the point where she wants to start shaving her legs. I hate society. What do I do? Do I give the young prepubescent child a blade to try to like carve the hairs off of her legs with? Hell no. I'm gonna give you a bottle of goop that I'm gonna hope you like only put up to your knees and if you can't, you know, fend off the tingling sensation, no smooth legs for you. Uh, that is what Mama Dis did for me, and I remember I had cucumber melon there. And the first time I used it, ugh. Now granted, the first time, like, you go to shave your legs, it's like baby hair. Everything's so soft and so jubilee, and it's like, yeah, I'm a leg hair! Um, <laughs> it's not after you've assaulted it hundreds and thousands of times with a razor that it ends up getting coarse and angry. <laughs> So, like, Nair works for... Nair works for, for the legs that haven't uh, seen things. <laughs> but that tingle... I had some friends that would go, oh, I can't do the tingle. And, and they're like... I'm like, I put up with it. You wanna feel my... You wanna feel my calf? <laughs> oh, man. I do hear, though, that Nair is a great way to uh, take off your eyebrows. Just saying. I hear it's great. I hear it works wonders. Alright, now that I'm looking... A lot of the images that people have put up of galaxies or space makeup are blues and pinks and purples. Now, I've got purples, blacks, and greens in here. I do have black, um, I do have some purple makeup, and I have, oh, I guess I got more green than I thought I had. I got green. Do I have green? No, oh. I've got green. It's called Mutant. What is this? So this is the Seance palette by Twisted. Yeah. There's a green in there. That is definitely, definitely a green. Cool. Uh, da -da -da. No, I am, and I use got to be good. Coffee it is. I miss it. Got to be glued fails here. No, I... No, I am, and I use got to be glued. Yep, it's great for spiking. Like, the spiking gel, it comes in two gel forms. She used the spray kind. I'd never... I mean, I guess I used the spray kind on my wigs upstairs, but that's more for a, uh, like, a back comb and a teasing. I would never have thought to use the spray just to hold things down. Good afternoon, Dis. Hope you're having a great day today, Kular. I am having a great day. A little indecisive of a day. But, uh, we've got pink eyebrows, so, uh, we can't do too much complaining, right? Yeah, at 34, I still have yet to use a normal razor. 100% electric. I'm a wuss. I got a new, uh, a new razor. A new Chic Quattro for women. The old one I had was metal on metal, and like it was heavy, and you could see getting gross. You could see soap scum, like where the blade and the handle connect, just from random wear. Not because I'm a gross person, I just had it for over a decade. Uh, <laughs> Grim, hello, welcome. Ouija makeup. Yeah, so it, this is it's called the Seance palette, and it is by Twisted. Twisted is one of the main backers for Astronomicon, as well, uh, I go to the Twisted concerts to do my promo for Astronomicon. So if you've ever been to a Twisted concert in the last few years, 
I've been there. Fun, fun fact. <laughs> the lady in costume, or uh, looking really weird in the balcony, is me. <laughs> I like to stand by the doorway. I hand out a uh, Astronomicon flyer. Actually, here they are here. Here are some of the flyers I passed out in Detroit back in 2019. Or, yeah, 2019 for 2020. We got another $500. Oh, ooh, ooh, where it is. In cash that I will be handing out to the cosplay contest winner for... This year's Astronomicon, tentatively scheduled for August 20th or 22nd. Okay, so I'm trying to pick out my color palette, seeing what I have. I've got blacks. I've got... I have one purple? No, I thought I had multiple purple. I thought I had multiple purples. Okay, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. With the blade to slice open your neck. Ooh. Some guys get that straight razor. To trim the beard, to shave the face, to straighten up. All right, so I do have some purples too. That's ideal. I think we're good to go then. I have no clue how to start this. Um, which I could show you guys. What I'm looking at right now. Let me see here. Let me see if I can show you guys my window. What windows do I have open? Anything incriminating? Window capture. That's the window capture I want. Cool. So I have been, and we'll just move this right here. So I have been looking at like makeup ideas for today. And they all seem to be pretty much the same. A lot of uh, over the cheekbones, over the bridge of the nose. Um, this girl did her whole entire face, but I'm. I don't want to look like a smurf. Like, I don't. I don't want to look like a smurf. Sometimes you don't get the window we want, you get the window we need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Well, I was just looking, I was like, hold up, what what windows do I have open that could potentially pop up right now? And I'm like, oh, we good. <laughs> but I also, as I ran through the open windows, Grim, I made sure to double check what tabs were open. Because that can be the incriminating part. That could be the incriminating part. It's not what you see, but what you see tabbed at the top that you don't, you know. <laughs> Sweeney Todd. Yeah, nowadays I'm Wolverine Harry, but my girlfriend is... Oop, 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 too. Everyone's slowly trying to convince me to go full shade. Does this nail product work on men hair? It does, but it tingles. It tingles. This Smurf is gonna be a different stream. Right? I just... Like, she looks cute and all, but she's got it coming down her neck. I don't hear it. Let's, let's make this a little bigger. You know, and a part of me was like, well, do you do some of the Astronomicon? So I, I typed in Astronomicon. Uh, do you do more of the Astronomicon themed makeup? More of a... Oh, look at there's me. Oh, look at there's me. Up here, too. Yeah. Or, you know, do more of like a bold statement makeup and not do space, but make sure to incorporate the greens and the blacks. Do I paint the Astronomicon spaceship on my face? Like that little spaceship that's over the... Right here, that's over the... Oh boy. If it tingles, that would be my worst nightmare. And, you, and you're not supposed to touch it. You gotta, like, let it sit there for 15, 20 minutes. Like Seinfeld's episode, where Jerry shaves his chest and he slowly starts becoming uh, a werewolf. Another free beauty tip. If you shave off your eyebrows completely, when they grow back, you will now have a cut... Oh. 
I did not know that if you shaved off your eyebrows once, that when they came back in, that you would have to... I mean, I constantly have to groom mine as it is. Oh, that's their Facebook page. I don't need to look at that. Like, that's, that's, that is where I am. Everything on the forehead, I don't need to do the forehead. I feel like that is a very easy place. Plus, we'll have the bangs of the wig. Well, I have to, so it may just be me. Oh, I mean, I have never removed one eyebrow to know that the grooming would have to commence. Now, I do know that even not having shaved an eyebrow off, I have to constantly groom mine. I have to comb them. Before stream, I had to wet one eyebrow because I had slept on it, and it decided it wanted to face in an upward and forward more, like, curved... No, 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 no. I thought I got down a rabbit hole. I see a lot of constellations, but I'm not gonna lie. A lot of these girls making constellations, they're not actual constellations, or they're just the Big Dipper. Um, I think we're just gonna wing it. I'm gonna not do anything on my... I guess I could do something on my neck. Okay. I got ideas. I got ideas. We don't need that. So I'm gonna come in with a smoky eye. We're going to do a highlight of lime green in the corners. Um, and then I'll brush it out to purple to hit to the black. Then I'm going to take that in and over. Like how everybody's got it going up over here. Um, but instead of the pink, which is like everywhere, we will switch that out with green. Then it'll go green to purple to black. How they've got it pink to blue to black. It'll work. It, it'll work. Right, where is my... I didn't need that, I said. Just throw it on the floor. So I use a MAC Painterly Pot to prime my eyelids with. This will be the same product next month I use to prime my eye or my eyebrows with. Where's my brush though for? Our Discord bots are battling between one another. So this primer just helps the uh, eye or the eyeshadow adhere to the eyelid better. It also prevents it from creasing. You get oily eyelids. This assists with that as well. Eyebrow pink down there. Don't need that there. All right. Now at this point too, if I need to do any cutting in around the eyebrow.
this would be the time to do it. Wonderful. Eyelids are primed. Now I do not need to put this down here, per se. Um, if she was dry, because we had put so much lotion on to begin with, I don't think I'm going to need this. I don't think so. I think I think the cheeks are, are ready for pigment. Hold off on that too. Okay, let's dive in. So I'm not going to start with black because black will be a hard color to cover up with green and purple later. So I'm going to start with the lime green and I'm going to try to bring the lime green in all of the areas that I'm going to need it first. And with the green, I can be a little uh, over generous. Just using the last of my tissues. I'm just tossing it on the ground because I don't know what else to do with it. Straighten this up a little bit. I am going to start with bringing the green in uh, around the corners here. Part of me has... I, I said that in just like, oh, what if I made a... Uh, that spaceship, you know, but... The cute. Starting with the green. That is a bright green. This is the mutant green from the Seance palette. And I've just got a flat brush and I'm just packing it on. I wish it was a little bolder, even. There's a little bit of fallout on my face. Uh, let's see if we can pick up a different green. A little bit more emerald. So right now I'm trying a Clinique green. This is what? Crinkle Sage. This one's a little bit more sheer.
wonder if I get it wet, what we can do with this. Well, alrighty then, that's what we need to do. Get a little bit more of that water off. <laughs> So I am just putting a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm going to let that fallout happen in my on my face right now cuz we are going to put this everywhere. I need a bigger brush. <laughs> You know what? Let's just bring this little up. Over here. So I'm gonna bring this green that I am just caking. So again, this is that, that powdered, I am putting a little bit of water on the brush. Geek Tech, hey you, what's up? I missed your last few streams, right? Oh, no worries. We are doing something a little different today. I got my nails done. Missing Astronomicon, which is a convention that happens in Michigan, would have happened this upcoming weekend. So I am doing makeup influenced by my nails and the convention that would be taking place. Looking forward though to tomorrow's Star Days event with Ticker. Hope everybody's been uh, stocking up on those debt bonds. Get a fashion frame going. Just, uh, you know, doing a little extra, putting it on my face, down here too. or Valentine's Day themed event back in 2019. I could have sworn I remember picking up items that were Valentine's Day themed in 2019. Now again, I could completely be wrong and just hallucinate the whole entire thing. All right, so we've got our green Just wonderfully all over the place. So again, if you guys are wondering where I picked up this mutant green, literally that is what it is called. It is mutant green and I've destroyed the pan. <laughs> it is on the Seance palette from uh, Twisted. Now I can't just leave it one tone green. The artist in me would be like, what is wrong with you? So I am going to, I see where it's like the most shimmering, and you'll have to forgive me, it looks a lot better in person than it does uh, on screen. So sorry about that, sorry. But I'm gonna pick up some darker green. 
the LA Colors palette. And we're gonna hit around the edges here. Slowly fade that out. Picking up some more green. Friendly reminder that we do have our new. Ooh, that did not need to pick up that blue. Um, new cheer bit emotes. Still working on the 5k one, but the 1k is up and going. I had a lot of fun. The 10k one is up and going too, but please do not. Don't strive for that yet until I find something or figure out and finish the, the 5k one. <sighs> Alright, so on the Beauty Glazed palette, I'm going to pick up some of their green. A lot darker. Looks like it didn't take well to the water I probably used with it last time. I'm going to have to scrape the surface a little bit. Ah. Bye. Scraping the surface of a nail or eyeshadow just always makes me feel a little uneasy. Oh. Oh, Kelly fan, thank you so much for that follow. I hope your day is going well. We are uh, working on our Astronomicon inspired makeup based off of our nails. So we're starting bright and this look will get hopefully, hopefully a lot darker. <laughs> so I'm going to take this. I don't want to lose my shadow, so this darker green I am bringing in along my jawline here, as well as up. Now that I know that I've, it's good to be gone, we're going to dab that brush in. Right. Now it's time for purple. Grabbing a different brush all together because that one's green. <laughs> I'm going to start with a light purple and work my way in. So I do have a Clinique. Um, this is the Plum Seduction palette. Slapping this all over my face, putting some appropriately on my eyes, right? I'm starting with the light purple and working the, the light purple in. It's able to cover up some of that green because it is a lighter green. Ooh, I could not tell you I was taking a break that time in 2018. Oh, oh no problem then, no problem. It's just one of those things that I'm like, yes, no, it may, well, maybe. Um, just one of those things I couldn't, I couldn't place my mind on, or couldn't like.
you ever look at something and go, man, I've got a completely different idea for this? We are how far in? An hour and 41 minutes in. Still not too far in. I just had an idea. I had an idea and it would change this whole entire makeup look. Oh my gosh. This idea I had is so much better than, okay. I'm gonna leave the pink eyebrows. I'm going to take a five minute break. I'm going to take off all of this makeup from the from uh, the eyes and the green. I've got an idea. I literally I have an idea. Oh, um, it's it's one of those things that when it hits you, it's it's we're gonna be painting a ship. Um, I. Five minute break. I need to uh, reset. Get some water. Uh, get the body paint out. I've I've got an idea. Um, five minute break, and then we are gonna come back. Uh, just revitalized and ready to go. Oh my goodness! I've got an idea. I I I, I just it's it's happening. Oh oh ho 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 ho. So I'm going to do a five minute, five minute break. Um, I will do a five minute break and I will be right back. This is gonna be better. This is gonna be so much better than what we had going on. I mean, I like where this is going, but I got a better idea. I got a better idea. No, we can leave both the pink eyebrows, at, and it, we might be able to do both two color eyebrows. I'm gonna leave both the eyebrows. The eyebrows turned out great. I got an idea. Oh, oh damn. All right, I will see you guys in five minutes. Give me a five minute break at that time too. I am going to get a snack, uh, cause I can chew while I'm washing my face quickly. Got an idea. It'll be real quick. Oh man, oh man. When you get an idea, oh, I don't even, I've lost all sense of how to uh, put the bee right back and to remove my webcam. Be right back.
come back. I got popcorn. I got ideas. Watch out, world. Alright. <clears throat> we have to do some minor touch-ups. I scrubbed my face. And, um... Even laid down some new foundation. Take two, go. No, I, I, uh, okay. So as I was, so it's you guys transparency. I'm, I'm not trying to hide or pretend to. You know, you guys are seeing it happen firsthand. So when I was doing that makeup, yeah, we looked at what other people had done. You know, they'd all done like the makeup across the face, and like I made that comment just in like light that wouldn't it be cool if we had the like the Astronomicon, um, it's right by the A. Oh, it's actually right here, too. Um, the spaceship coming out. Coming out of what? If the galaxy is across my whole entire face, what the F is it coming out of, this? And so, I was also, like, as we were putting, a, you know, doing our look, I was like, man, my pink wig, you know, like, usually I do the, the, the crying for the concerts with the, the dark uh, black makeup, and I was like, it would be nice to do that on half of my face or to have it look like the other half of my face is cracking and there's a chunk going away and there's space in my face and that these spaceships actually flying out of the crack in my face uh, that's what's happening what is wrong with you what's going on here oh what is wrong you can't be here while we do this I'm sorry Are you, you're, no one can give you treats. I took that option off. Because you're not supposed to be here while I do this. <laughs> There's makeup everywhere. That's a keyboard. I know that you just looked at it wondering if you could step on it. You're gonna lay there? Hey. Well, <sighs> I'm gonna have to put a towel over your back then, okay? Because I don't want makeup to fall on you. Because even though... Some products say they're animal and cruelty free. I just don't think you should be consuming them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hastily go through smoking out one eye, and it's going to be my left eye. And then I am going to spaceship and crack open my right side. Reason being, I'm right-handed. It's, it's easier. Um, so let's get this out. Your claws are in my ankle, buddy. If you are just stopping my stream, hello, thanks for hanging out with us. My name is Dis. I am an ultra widescreen gamer, but every once in a while I do like to let my creative side go and we will do a makeup look based off of my nails. So we are working on it. We've got our Astronomicon nails going on. And uh, after, oh, I got, I went so quickly with trying to put foundation on. I got foundation everywhere. The, that up. Chris Owen 91 Chris Owens 91 thank you so much for that follow all right so we are going to come in here make sure that we've got that first charade kind of covered up all right let's touch up those eyebrows we do still have that's, that's a lot of green we'll come back to those brushes there's the pink brush this is a lot easier, too, with the cat on my lap, I swear. Can you... I can't, really. I, I can't sit cross like that. Thank you so much, buddy. That we definitely need to cover up the key. Oh! We're so happy for you to share that with us. I'm taking some of that beauty glaze palette. <coughs> in a swig of Red Bull. I think the eyebrows are good to go. So let's go into the eyebrows. You can see there's still a little bit of green. What's up? I've got like a little kitten. Can I help you, sir? I am going to... Ooh, I don't believe I put blush back on. So we're going to take that CoverGirl <clears throat> 501 blush again. 
just like before, I am going to do the whole entire face. Hit the <clears throat> bronzer. I covered all this up already, so I'm sorry. Going hastily through all this, we explained it earlier. Didn't touch my forehead though. <clears throat> okay. For my eyes, I am going to. Ooh. Yep. I am gonna pull out the Androgyny palette by Jeffrey Star. <clears throat> There's that. And we are gonna dip into these. These two right here, the reds. These are also the two colors that I choose to wear uh, during stream a lot. <clears throat> if you're wondering <clears throat> where that gold comes from, that gold is from this palette too. I like that you think you can help. I'm looking for a brush right now, trying to find one that's not pink, purple, or green. <laughs> it looks like that is not going to be uh, something that I am able to find right now. It's a paint or a beauty brush that's not... That's funny! Alright, we're going to use our finger then. Oops, I'm sorry. Sorry, chat. I'm going to take my finger into this gold here. It's so... Ooh, that's the first time I've used my fingers with this palette, and that was a lot smoother than I had anticipated. <laughs> like, it just feels really, like, creamy, buttery. I just like the way it feels, El Randinia. What can I say? I like the way it feels on my fingertips. Hey, uh. <clears throat> I do need to find a brush, though, because there's no way I'm going to adequately be able to apply. <laughs> Angry Unicorn! Coming in with the raid, holy cannoli! Wow, how are you guys doing? I've kind of got my uh, keyboard covered up, but let's uh, let's find it. Oh, we are. We only have purple eyebrows at this point. <laughs> wow, you guys. <laughs> Holy cannoli. Hold on here. Sorry, you guys are blowing up my chat right now. Rosie underscore kitty cheered Dex 15. <laughs> thank you so much for those biddies, Rosie Kitty. Uh, Pillowcase, thank you kindly for that follow. Phantom Lois, thank you so much for that follow. Fortnite is a job now. Thank you so much for that follow. Rose Kitty, thanks for the follow. Rebellious doo doo. Dodo. Rebellious Dodo. Thank you so much for that follow. We are, uh, wow, you guys caught me off guard. So I was just kind of going in with gold. We are going to be doing an Astronomicon themed makeup look today uh, based off of my nails. So during this time last year was Astronomicon. Literally a convention happened right before the states closed down for the pandemic. Um, so I got my nails done yesterday and I am going to be doing a look. You guys are too kind. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Lacapelli. I'm still trying to do a shout out here and I have, I've got a mirror and everything in front of me. How was your guys' stream? I uh, jumped in with the Warframe streams. I had to get my watch drop. Ugh. Had to get my watch drop on. Shout out to Angry Unicorn. If you do not know who Angry Unicorn is, which most of you came in here with Angry Unicorn. So, uh, the the small plethora of us that were hanging out and chilling uh, and, and 
grooving before the raid. Check out Angry Unicorn if you have not already. <clears throat> okay, let me let me run through chat quickly. Doc and Lala, hello, welcome. I hope the rest of your stream went well. I only was able to catch about an hour of it before I had to boop off. Dinosaurus Rex, thank you so much for that follow. Oh, thank you! Three months with Prime. Thank you so much, Angry Unicorn. Dinosaurus Rex, welcome, welcome. Pink eyebrows. I know. Chat, to, chat picked that one. <clears throat> Rosie Kitty, Phantom Lois, Frost Souls, hello. Grave the French word. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am disputional for all of you that uh, have just been dumped here. There may be some of you who are... Uh, not even sure you've left the Warframe stream yet. I'm cool with that. Uh, but hello, welcome. I am Disfusional. My friends call me Dis. Please feel free to do so as well. Typically, this headset is on my head. We're working on getting the funds for a, a mic, um, a standalone mic, within time. You can't have everything at the beginning. Uh, Grave, I do see your hydrate. We have some sugar-free Red Bull. I will definitely take you up on that. May have been biased on the <laughs> <clears throat> Pog. Oh, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for stopping by. Okay. Yes, the contacts are uh, mini silicas. So, we are doing our look today based off of my nails, based off Astronomicon. We actually started with the look. I had just finished a five minute break where I wiped it all off because I had an idea. You know that moment where an idea takes you over that everything else gets thrown out the window because I have effing idea and we're going to run with it. So I am going to <clears throat> pull in my traditional concert going in promo look. So I've got my wig off to the side here. Don't be concerned or worried. Uh, but I've got my wig off to the side here. We'll be donning. Uh, yeah. To top this look off, we're going to cry some black tears. We're going to split open my face to a galaxy and has a ship uh, flying out. That is the goal. That is the goal. Purple and pink bras. I'm sorry we didn't prep you for this. No, 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 no. I switched my software over and I'm glad to see that it was able to uh, to handle all of this love dumps. <clears throat> uh, let's, uh, so I'm scrolling through. May have been biased in the pink eyebrows. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. One chat has stopped where the other one is going. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for the lurks, guys. I do appreciate it. With the hair nut and the contacts, you currently look slightly like a space goth dinner lady. Would you like the space meatball dinner? Um, <laughs> we are gonna... We're working on the makeup right now, but this is to hold all my hair down. Uh, so I have, like, fine baby hair that as I put makeup on... Um, my brush. So if I'm putting on bronzer, my brush will end up pulling my baby hairs out. So I, I slick them back with some got to be glued and I strap a hairnet on. For those of you that may not be familiar, I am an ultra widescreen gamer. That is why we have the 3440 by 1440 setup going on. Predominantly play Warframe. I do have some Warframe cosplays down. We did a daughter, Nabarus, as well as a Tannin, Tenobomb. Tenobomb rendition you can see images below or on my social media and I will gladly toss those up currently on my socials as well especially on Instagram you can see the FX and makeup stream that we did for last month for January so I actually did a St. Valentine's the massacre with blood and flowers last month this month we are doing it in lieu to a convention that would be this weekend but has been rescheduled for August 20th through 22nd here. <laughs> the dinner lady. Nice. Uh, I'm glad that uh, if all else fails with being an artist, I can always go back to uh, cafeteria. I won't teach the children anymore. I will. Uh, it was too perfect. <laughs> uh, Jeff, hello. Rex, Adam, welcome, welcome, welcome. The daughter Navras is amazing. Thank you so much. I... So I tried out a different, the first time for Daughter for October for Navaris, it was the first time I'd ever covered a majority of myself in purple. The December stream for uh, Tenobomb, 
the application, her, her skin tone just looks so much better. So much better. Hello, how are things? Oh, hello! Is that Steezy Gaming? Please forgive me if I butchered your username. Hello and welcome. Um, I am just uh, getting in the groove of plopping down some makeup right now. I'm sorry, you guys kind of caught me off guard. And I, I put down my brush and I have no clue where it went. It's Edora! Oh, uh -huh. thank you, Dinosaurus, for the tea spilling right there. I would not have, uh, have figured that one out on my own. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Just needs 120. <gasps> Are we really only 127 people away from 1,000 followers? That is mind-blowing. You guys are too cool. Oh, my gosh. Um... So, our big goal for 2021, yes, we know that Warframe is currently not accepting content creators. I got you. So, in that process, we are going to be getting our ducks in a row. Um, we need to hit 1K followers on Twitch. Now, I am hoping to apply for the Warframe fan art creator because I do cosplay and I fabricate props and costumes. We were a part of TennoCon 2019. We've done uh, cosplays on this channel as well. We have cosplays as soon as the studio upstairs is fit. Uh, Lloyd, a Lloyd and Otak will be fabricated. That's the first on the list. Every daughter needs her her actual o Lloyd and Otak. Um, we want to apply for fan art creators. So we've got the amount of followers that we need on our main platforms. But since we are all in a pandemic right now and I am not able, like the first guest appearance I have is going to be in August, tentatively. Who knows what the world has in store for us, right? We kind of just are living day to day, which is all right by me. Um, so tentatively for August. So my only outlook and reach for my creative expression is broadcasting with Twitch. So it, make sure that my application is meaty and juicy. Once I get that 1K, we will have everything ready to go in a nice little tied bow bundle to give to DE with our fingers crisscrossed like a soft pretzel. Uh, so any and all follows, I do humbly appreciate them all. I know some people think, oh, you're one of those follow counters. Unfortunately, in my line of work, to get the guest appearances at conventions, that follower count carries a hefty... <clears throat> A hefty weight with it you know like people go oh you have the most followers in our area people like you can you show up uh, so like it, it's I know it sounds petty but it is the game in the life that we live right now uh, so I do appreciate <clears throat> all of you being here all of you lurking watching dropping that host clicking on that follow thank you thank you thank you oh I'm getting into prompts what are some of the best places to see yours <clears throat> Well, apparently, I've got a large ball of phlegm in my throat. <clears> throat> Instagram is going to be the best place to see the finished projects. Uh, on Facebook, I do have some photo albums of progress photos. And then on my website, there is a blog where you can find more information and more photos. <clears throat> so, yeah. And if you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Or email me, uh, DM me. Once we get the studio going, we will be streaming uh, upstairs as well. So you will be seeing... The goal is you guys will be able to watch me build Otak and Lloyd. Like, that is from start to finish. Like, from start to finish. When I go upstairs and turn on my lights, it will power everything up. <clears throat> that is the goal. <clears throat> Rosie Kitty, I stopped buying props after I got cheated out of a prop completely freaking understandable some people are scum some people are just freaking scum i like i've got nothing else uh, i pride myself i'm not being a liar i will tell you guys when i'm having like i don't i literally told you guys when i had an idea and wiped off an hour and a half worth of makeup didn't sugarcoat it just had better idea um no i that's that's completely horrible uh that's horrible People suck. <laughs> People suck. Good to see you up close and 
Dissy, oh, thank you, Radical Surge. Typically, I've got more makeup on than this. Social P, uh, your social media profile is your CV essentially as a content creator. Adams, uh, scars, scars, I think that's horrible. <laughs> uh, as a content creator, if social media were to crash and burn, all of my content should be elsewhere. So that is why I have a website. Because I do not want to stake my business and my livelihood on the platforms put together by somebody else. So I host my own website. Uh, uh, like, no, 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 I, I, and it's in Adam, you, I completely understand that statement that you, that you said earlier. I get it. And again, I'm, I'm first and foremost, I'm a professional artist. I am classically and traditionally trained in drawing and painting and welding, um, and sculptural mediums, ceramics, raccoon fire, like the list goes on and on. Uh, fabricating and sewing was just, it's the hobby that I have fallen into a line of work with as well. And, you know, it, it's enjoyable. But uh, as an artist, that where does one put their prof or portfolio? My first portfolio was taken and on film. And then you had to send the negatives into a lab and they would send them back to you. My first portfolio is in slide form. <laughs> so like it is it's the what is acceptable over the years for portfolios for artists has changed drastically to the point that like I don't want you know having to deal with some other person putting together yeah I did grab a normal paintbrush <laughs> right? I was tired of that tiny little thing um my other First off, this one's very smooth. Have not used it for paint yet. Uh, but my other makeup brushes are already covered in different colors. Um, so I needed something different. <laughs> Oops. Tip things over on the floor. Definitely a good idea to have your own set of... Well, and again, like, we hear so many things with sites having difficulties, twitches being done. It's just... my own space no one can tell me what to do <laughs> i'm gonna dip i'm supposed to sleep uh, for work rosie kitty thank you so much for stopping by i hope you have a wonderful slumber sweet dreams i hope your work day tomorrow goes by swiftly and quickly without a bunch of bs right nobody needs that extra crap in their in their work day <laughs> oh you might be getting some welding questions then haha -ha. i just picked up my first no gas mig welder ah wonderful i I love arc welding. <laughs> I uh, I love arc welding so much that I have decided to share photos with you guys on my studio Instagram page. Because again, I won't do what I want to do. I'm, I'm at that phase of life now. Oh no. Hey mom, a chunk of the palette. Like dog. Yeah. They stay in the section you're supposed to be in. Put it back in place. There we go. Uh, it's four hours long. I'm just worried about the ice on the roads. We don't uh, see eye to eye most of the time. Oh, well, safe travels from somebody who lives in a very snowy... It's currently... What temperature is it out? Oh, wonderful. Negative seven. Great. You gotta love Michigan. <laughs> so, safe travels on your way to work. Uh, leave with enough time. I know, it, you know what, and it's one thing when you feel confident yourself with driving on snow, but it's the other people that are so preoccupied with everything else around them that they're not focusing on the thing around you. So, uh, I, 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 safe travels on your way to work too, Rosie Kitty. Safe travels on your way. Dragon Sedge, thank you kindly for that lurk. Getting something done at work. Completely understand. Completely understand. I'm really actually considering building an arc welder, lol. I have the transformer and some other bits uh, knocking around. But yeah. See, I uh, I learned on an arc weld and it was just something that... I've never... And I'm hoping that now that we have moved into a house, that having more space, I just moved out of South Detroit, so like out of the city. Um, so being in more of the metro area, it's, I'm hoping I'll be able to, I got a garage now. 
got a garage. So I would never really had a welding studio just of my own. And so the arc welding was a surefire way where no matter in what shambles the user could have left it before me, I would be able to pick it up, grab some sticks, dial it back in, you know, ground and be able to do what I needed to do. Uh, so like, I, I just, uh, I remember in college, how? How can you guys, the feeder coil, I just, I got stories, we could talk all day long. Uh, I do have a Discord. There's not much in the art section yet, but again, hopefully that will change once the studio, which is now upstairs above my residence, um, is finished and put together. We had a little bit hiccup yesterday, stopped off at the Ikea in Canton, um, and they were sold out of everything. Like, everything. I asked them, because again, thinking, when's the best time, you know, when do you guys restock? When's the best time to come to Ikea? We restock daily. The best time to come to Ikea is before we open and divide and conquer. If one person can go upstairs, grab everything that you need, the boxes, the tubs, and all that, and then one person goes downstairs to get all the actual building materials, he goes, then only then will you probably get everything you want. <laughs> Damn! Um, <laughs> so, I was ill-prepared for my, my organizing shopping extravaganza, so the studio is a little bit behind. I was hoping to be able to start organizing and putting things together, putting us one step closer to being able to film and stream up there, but uh, I effed up. <laughs> I was not prepared for an Ikea. I Ikea'd poorly. But I did grab a catalog. Uh, what's a good domain provider for a website? Wix. Uh, so I use Ikea's Hardcore. It was more... I walked through there and it looked... Like, you know, in the Lion King or Simba's going home and he's walking through and the land is just burnt and desolate and the trees are dead. That is how barren the Ikea baskets and shelves looked. <laughs> and like, even in some of the sections, you're like, oh, okay, maybe there's something. People were so hardcore at grabbing the shit that they wanted <laughs> that they were like destroying. There was like signs that were like half tilted and like taken off the rack and I was like really like with such vigor everybody just fiercely grabbed what they want with no remorse toward anything <laughs> it, was just, it was a moment um so for websites I use GoDaddy as my like domain provider so I, I paid GoDaddy for my domain um and then I have my own host like my own personal host. Um, oh, Lockapelli, thank you so much for uh, donating a sub to Excalibur Jack. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the community. You get to use all the emotes now. Yeah. You guys are too nice to each other. I, I do not deserve. I do not deserve you. The last time I went to IKEA, we waited like four hours for the staff they had to get out. The warehouse. So here's the... When I went to Ikea... Now, get, don't get me wrong. I didn't go there flippantly thinking, Oh, um... You know... They... Did you even check to see if they had this in stock? No. Six in stock. Four in stock. But they weren't there on the shelves. So we asked the lady, and she goes, Yeah, she goes, they could be in stock. She goes, but you'd have to come to after hours. So you'd have to pay for it. Then hoping that it would be on the truck that they then could get to after hours hoping it could not be so then they went and thought that they found it and they flagged us down then we went back and she said no they didn't have it and so i'm like oh man so like it was early in the morning the ass crack of dawn gonna go to ikea not tomorrow uh because i'm still kind of in a poopy situation down in the dumps you know from the first time uh, but i saved up my monies um using for my D3 Magda cosplay, I had been saving, like, uh, gift cards and all that for her, but I am going to reallocate those funds for organization, because if I can't use the sewing machines on Magda, how will Magda get done? So I gotta put the money toward being able to use and, like, get everything organized and accessible again, then we'd be racking and rolling. Um, Alright, back to the makeup. We've got the gold laid down. I'm gonna pop in with the 
Androgyny and Fetish on the palette, these two here. I'm going to actually, I love to, I love to hit the mic with everything in my hands. I love to mix them together, so I'm actually going to dip in both of them. I'm going to cross-contaminate palette colors, like everything your art teacher told you not to do as a child. And I'm going to swoop it out to my eyebrow. So this is the palette that I use for most of my streams. Uh, making of any kind is a super easy way to spend all kinds of money. Yeah. No, I... And I've been, I've been working on Magda for our D3 since 2017. Um, she's just a slow build. Like, there's a lot of detail and embroidery and everything that we're, we're um, you know. But since moving... With the build of the upstairs, it's got the like, like slanted ceiling, so my steel case cabinets can't fit against the wall, any of the walls. Uh, so they're in the garage and in the basement holding tools. Uh, so like if I want to go and do woodworking or like sand EVA foam, they're holding that stuff still. Which means then all the paints and the sewing stuff now needs to find a more clean, simpler organization, like, area themselves. And so that's going to be um, the key, the calyx, calyx, K-A-L-L-A-X, it's the, like, the squares. I'm going to throw it sideways, slap it on some plywood, toss some, like, six casters or so on it. Uh, that way I can move it about, I got ideas. <laughs> The sound of you hitting the mic with stuff is just a perk of being here, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> I feel bad because I know what it sounds like, me slapping the mic. Um, but I'm trying to get close to it. After February, um, I will be able to actually drop money into getting a uh, mic. So, uh, we will... Excited about that. Ooh, I'm gonna get this username. I'm going... I'm gonna get it. Give me one second here. Zytronics? Zytronics, I hope I said your username a little bit correctly. Thank you so much for that follow. So I'm bringing that uh, shade as well underneath my eyes. We're going to do this makeup before we cut into my face to do the actual planets. <laughs> KK. Alright, um... So as I sit here and fan out my eyeshadow a little bit more, I, uh, I'm going to give you guys a 30 second ad break as recommended by some of my mods. So thank you guys for all of your support. Uh, I'm going to quickly fan out some of my eyes. If you are a subscriber, congratulations, or if you have a really good ad blocker, you will not see this. Have an amazing stream. You're an awesome person, a gamer, and an artist, and a friend. See you later, alligator. Oh, la la, doc. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Don't forget... The Star Days event in Warframe drops tomorrow. Uh, so I know that I will be jumping on and streaming a little bit because i got to show you guys the collection of things I'm going to get. Right? Some of us have been... I can drop the ad and still talk. Some of us have been uh, hoarding. Hoarding. Our uh, ticker bonds. So, alright. I'm going to just hastily smoke this out while that ad's going on. Because we are going with an over-exaggerated look, Adam Skazer, thank you so much for that that follow. Oh, for that subscription! Oh my gosh, you're tier one sub! Oh, you're too kind! Holy, holy cannoli! Holy cannoli, dude, thank you so much! Subs do, uh, 
miss all the ads, you are exempt from them. Just kind of wiping away some of that fallout. What I do not have in the Androgyny palette is a black. So I'm going to toss that aside. Pull out the Impressed You Beauty Glaze palette. It has black. And we are going to cut in. Because, uh, again, it, this is our Astronomicon-inspired nail look. We do have black in the nails. Let alone, we're going to be pulling green and everything out of our face. So, give me one second here. I'm going to find where it is. There she is. I'm looking for that rounded top brush. And I am going to dip into the black and charcoal. I imagine Magda would be a time consuming one, pretty detailed. Are there any makers you like to watch online? Um, I, I've got a lot of friends that I like to watch online that happen to be makers. So I guess I'm lucky in that sense. I do like Talk Customs. Stop he. I ate giant cookies with him at C2E2 a couple years last year. Great gentleman. Great gentleman. Uh, Casey Renee Cosplay. Very wonderful seamstress. Uh, I do like your Kamui and your Lightning Cosplay. Uh, as well. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? No worries. Always glad to support fellow makers. Oh, thank you. Uh, trying to think. I really like Vulpin Props. Henchman props, um, Wooda Workshop, Adam Savage, I don't get questions like that often, I really like that question, it made me think of like, who, cause I know I follow a whole lot of other creators, and those aren't necessarily the creators that I, when I pick up my cell phone and I go to their social media. You know what? Let's just do that right now. Shut the front door. You would ask. So when I pick up my social media, creators that I adamantly uh, look at are, okay, so we get, do have Lightning Cosplay. Uh, Moth Child. Uh, I, I do like her artwork, her work as well. She, she likes moths and uh, that's near to my heart. Uh, let's see here. Who else do we have? A lot of these, since lately I've been doing makeup, a lot of them come up as makeup ones. Uh, Alt F, like Alt F as in Frank, 4 as in the number, cosplay. She, uh, she, I met her at C2E2 last year. Super dope, super dope chick, super dope chick. Uh, Samir, uh, how do you say his last name? Samir Tiki Amalasa. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, if you go at Samir TM on uh, Twitch, too, he's he's a highly detailed um, cosplayer. Where, who is, where is he? What do we got going on here, filmmaker? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Uh, you know. I love, I love me some Ganoza cosplaying. Brittany, she's a friend of mine, so I, I think that's a little bit of a biased opinion. Um, trying to find, like, some of those off-the-wall strange creators that maybe aren't as well-known. If you are looking for a really cool Warframe creator and you do not follow Aubrey, I think that's her name. Give me a second. I'm going to find the correct. Going to find the correct. Uh... Okay. It's Arbor. Arbo Real Kit. Arbo Real Key. She's a French uh, prop maker, and she does a lot of Warhammer, or, yeah, I think it's Warhammer, um, and some Warframe cosplayers. She's really cool. She does a lot of phone work. 
but yeah, so those are those are just some fun. So I was like, I was like, hold up here. You know what? Better yet, when I open up my phone, who are the, who are, you know? Because they say that the more that you save and the more that you interact with other posts, the more uh, like they would show up as prevalent. So like, who do I interact with the most? All right, so I'm gonna keep going. In. I'm gonna actually take this. So, uh, concert looks, dark light, so I usually go really heavy with my makeup. So we're going to do that today as well in uh, the theme of our nails. So, oh, look at it. It's Dustin in the photo with me over there. He was, uh, they had a uh, an 80s party, so we missed the tea. I wish this was a little darker. So I wanted to make it look like I had cat eyed more, so I brought the black up to the tip of my eyebrow, and then I'm going to bring it on a diagonal in, and I am actually going above the crease of my eyebrow, or my uh, eye crease, that way it looks like that eyelid is even bigger than it really is. If I give it that backdrop, put some shading in that background there, when that eyelid slides back up and over, she looks poppin'. Do the same thing over here. And then I'm also going to bring it down here into my lower uh, lash line. Reason being, I'm going to be tossing a uh, black eyeliner down there, and if I've got black shadow, in the waterline already, I don't have to get the black eyeliner as close. I can cheat. So I brought it down and around. I actually go a little heavier. Okay, got to go out into the field. Have an amazing rest of your stream. Same to you, Pink. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. I will talk to you later, sir. May your work day go well. Alright, so now that I've got all of that uh, darker black underneath, I've lost the red that was there initially. So we're going to put it back. There we go. Ooh, I want with more of this. All right, now we're rocking and rolling. And the makeup starts leaving the place that it's supposed to be. Dizzy, what material would you recommend for Quilonko's kitchen pan hat? For Quilonko's kitchen pan hat. Give me one second. I'm going to take a look at this. I got that hat on my, uh... Didn't somebody come out with an EVA foam pattern? Hold up. Hold up. I might have something for you. I might have something for you. Uh... 
Radical, I'm gonna send you a whisper um, of a link. Kamui Cosplay, and it's discounted right now to only $9.99, came out with hat patterns, and she made almost kind of like a rendition of um, There you go. Uh, so like there's there's the hat. Obviously it's a little bit more rounded. But I think that hat pattern might be what you're looking for for that's what might would be a great base. Um That's my thoughts. That's my thoughts. Because um, again, if somebody is... You're not competing in it. And it doesn't matter if you created the pattern to begin with. I support other creators. <laughs> I, I buy patterns. If, I'm not, if I know that I'm not going to be competing in the cosplay, I will look to support other content, our content creators too and buy their uh, patterns too. It saves me time. I'm altering them. Never will I ever... like. Never do you find a pattern that's identical to what you need. Like, you've always got to alter them, so. Alright. Now it is going to be time. I'm going to save the fake eyelashes for last, but we will go in uh, with the eyeliner already for one eye. Sorry, I'm going to get a little up close and personal with you guys for this part. I'm going to turn you sideways so I'm not screaming at you. Actually, I think I'm going to have to move myself. Move myself. Move you guys. Oh, yeah. This isn't for a masquerade. It's uh, just for an improv idea. Then, then that might help. No, see, if you, the on the pattern that I sent you, Radical Search, it was very pointy. I'm not sure if there is a way, you know, in the initial pattern to make it so that that point is is less. And to do that, you would, if that is one giant circle and the circle just has a radius or pie piece cut from it, making that pie piece smaller would then create a lower bow or, you know, or, you know, better yet, if you had to cut in on, and then it would hard. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. We can... Hit me up in the Discord. We can talk later about it. <laughs> All right, I am going to mascara. I moved my mirror down here. That way, I don't poke myself with the microphone or poke an eye out. Pardon me, as I uh, will turn the music up for a little bit, maybe as I eyeliner out. Radical search cheered X100, stopping makeup to help my cosplay. Blue heart, thank you. Uh, oh no, thank you. I I am a teacher to the core, so if I can assist and pass my knowledge, but if I die knowing all this stuff and I can't share it with anybody else, that's just silly. Uh, so I'm glad that uh, tips and tricks I can pass along to people, for sure, for sure. glad to help and again I'm, I'm serious like feel free to hit me up or send me a DM in the discord all right so I'm gonna actually take this in righteous Now what I'm going to do is I need to wing them. You, you know, sometimes you just need a good cat eye. When you make a blob on one side, do the blob on the other side. <laughs>
we got one swoop done. I'm just pulling on my eye skin if you guys are wondering. What is she doing? chat I am uh, getting close to my eyeballs right now with this mascara or eyeliner forgive me whatever the hell it is I'm using now the reason I'm also putting this uh, mat or eyeliner on before I do uh, the tear drops because I don't ideally want to put Mayron's uh, body paint in my eyeball. But if I feel like I feel like if I get eyeliner in my eyeball, it was meant to go around my eye initially, so like the consequences would obviously be less grave, right? Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> my theory. That's 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 what I'm rolling with. That is what I am rolling with. All right, so let's put this back up here. Oops, sorry. Sorry, 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 guys. I I booped you. I booped me. Kind of booped you, too, in the process. All right. Now, let's see here. Eyebrows are good. I actually want to... Okay. I am going to use a uh, eyeliner, lip liner. It's a wet and wild pencil. I mean, you can use this for your eyes. You can use it for your lips. I will use the white to actually draw out where I'm going to cut away at my face. I imagine eyeliner is designed to be safe for accidental plopped. That's that's what I would like. Oh man, I blooped myself in the eyeball. Same thing with mascara. Like, I feel like those have been tested on people's eyeballs quite a bit. So, before I do the teardrops down this side of the face, I need to make sure that I have marked away where we are going to punch into my face and put a galaxy. Um, so, it's going to happen on this side here. I want it to be, like, broken. Almost like cracky, I guess. Bring up with cracking glass or something. That way I'm just not. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out first, we want that spaceship. So as you can see, like what right here, there's that spaceship there. And we were thinking about drawing that spaceship somewhere. Belly, imagine singing. Ooh. True of so many things. In the eye, repeatedly by mascara. Yeah, ouch. Fun times. Says nobody. <laughs> what is Astronomicon about? So, Astronomicon is a pop culture convention that happens here in Metro Detroit. It is a. It has comics. It has horror. It has concerts in the evening. It's got anime because. I like anime, and so I'm bringing a lot more anime every single year into it. Um, who? What's the, what's the best way I can say? The best way I can describe it is one year for Astronomicon, I gave $500 away to a gentleman who was dressed up. Uh, have you guys remember Death Note, the like demon who eats apples? There was a guy that was at least the 10-foot version of him. It, my mind was blown. 
my my mind was blown. Made of like riveted with aluminum and everything. So like people go out. There's a lot of cosplays there. There's a lot of video games. They do uh, Super Mario uh, concert or Super Mario tournaments as well. Cosplay contests. It's a it's a I guess appearance at a lot of conventions in Michigan. And it is one of the ones that yes. I, I'm a big part of the cosplay department and, and all the cosplay running. But even with that, so, I have such a good time, like a chilled good time when the day is over and it's concerts and games in the evening. It's relaxing. Ryuk! Ah! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it wasn't, it was on like the tip of my tongue, but I couldn't get it. Ryuk. He was Ryuk. It was really cool. Um, if you check out Astronomicon's Facebook page, I know there is a auto ticker that will tick by here in a little bit. Um, with the information, it it's a good time. If you like chill, good time. I will. I will say it is family friendly. We have uh, Home Depot. One year we did birdhouses with the kids in one of the mornings. Uh, so it's it's completely family friendly. It's a fun time. Sid Haig, as you in like the photos over there, he he attended two years in a row. R.I.P. Sid, you will be missed. Uh, it's it's a good time. It's family. It is it is a family. It's one of those conventions I can walk around in in any of my outfits. Not once has anybody touched me inappropriately. Not once has anybody. When you know you go in for the hover hand, has anybody tried to... No. No, no, no. Like, it, it's just... It's a whole... Everybody is there. Everybody's got your back. Everybody's just wants to have a good time. Truly. Just wants to have a good time. And that's... It's nice to see. It's nice to see that, you know, even the staff, they're there for you. That you need help? Cool. Because helping you is going to make you have a good time, which is just going to make it people that you came with have a good time, too. So, uh... God is able to. Thank you so much for that follow. I hope your Wednesday is going well. I miss Anime Central. I miss the con hype. Oh, radical. I have never been to Anime Central. Maybe someday. Yomacon is the convention that's in my backyard that I would that I hit up. That's big in anime. That and Colossal Con. Kira, so I think I found it doing a image search. Turned up a pic of YouTube. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Moxie. Uh, Purple Moxie will be all over the place. Uh, Morgan. We have a Black Clover, too, that'll come up if you uh, Google search Astronomicon. Like, here is... So here's the Astronomicon shirt. Here's my Astronomicon shirt. Uh, <laughs> it's Andy the Astronaut. And so it was for Astronomicon 3, so it had three back. They had a pool party, color changing cups. <laughs> a lot of, lot of collectors there, a lot of Funko Pop collectors. One of the big uh, sponsors and supporters of Astronomicon is Detroit's Twisted. Uh, great, great music musicians. If you uh, have not checked out their music, well, do so. Um, it's just a really good time. They hold concerts in the evening because uh, Jamie and Paul, Maddox and, and Monoxide, because they like Funko Pops and collectibles, there's a lot of Funko Pops. There's a lot of collectible figurines. There's a lot of WWE. There's a lot of wrestling, a lot of comics. It's the, um, they have, uh, last year they had two of the sci-fi face-off contestants there. Like, it's just, it's a good time. <laughs> yes, girl, cosplay is not consent. Glad to see you safe. Cos yes. Yes, and, and the cool thing is, though, Radical Search, if there was any issue, you need to say to one staffer in their neon shirt, so-and-so, you know, did this, did this, and it'll be taken care of on the spot. Like, there's there's no, there's, it's a family-friendly event, there's no effing around, it's taken care of there on the spot, and that's, ah, it's reassuring, you know, when you tell somebody, a con person, like, oh my goodness, like, I did not feel okay with this. And you don't ever, like, you see that person just doing it again, or you hear stories about it having happened to somebody else, and you're like, I said something. I said something. I swear to these. Um, thank you. Uh, God, I will definitely take you up on that hydrate. So, uh, yeah. Um, I do know, too, that they are looking to get a cosplay room. 
for people to like take their heads off or sit down and have a glass of water. So I'm hoping, hoping that uh, as the convention builds, that we uh, gets big on better. Uh, the B3 game was hot at Astro. It was lit. It was. Uh, so we were able to get Ganoza costuming to come to Astronomicon last year, and she brought her large claptrap. She went as Shade, uh, so I took B3's Moxie. That was the first time I wore B3 Moxie. C2E2, I got, I styled the wig a lot better. Uh, I needed a first setting of product, and then, like, after having product applied two more times on top, it was good to go. Uh, <laughs> the Night King from Game of Thrones, he was there too! He was! I waved to him, he was not he was he didn't wave back but I did wave like this so uh, I can see why he maybe wasn't as receptive <laughs> Flynn from Breaking Bad seemed like he was going to party after the con <laughs> so Sinemius was uh was there was that Saturday night Friday night it was Saturday um no no it wasn't Saturday I think it was I think it was Friday night, and we were partying afterwards in the hotel, and so all of the high celebrities, like the celebrities who actually have managers, the celebrities who, uh, you know, like, need beauty sleep, who, who, you know, have a rider and, like, we make sure happens and all that, they, they are not at the hotel with all of us riffraff. <laughs> With all of us loud people running around in costumes and, and you know, drinking out of their color-changing cups. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, they're in, they're in the nicer hotel across the street. He was so upset! He's, he went, so we were in the green room and I'm trying to, like, squickly scarf a pizza. And, uh, I've got Brittany Ganoza next to me and I'm, like, I'm trying to make sure she eats too. And he comes in going... I didn't know there was going to be parties afterwards. He goes, I'm at the lame hotel across the street. <laughs> and at the same time, his his handler is like, dude, you, we need to get you like to your necks. Like, you, we need to go. <laughs> but he just wanted to hang out and party. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's kind of how a lot of the guests have taken it, is that they've enjoyed themselves so much that they've wanted to, you know, let loose afterwards. And again, everybody's chilling, welcoming that it's not an issue, like, for celebrities to, to walk around. Oh, gosh. It's just a lot of fun. I'm just just thinking of a lot of things and seeing that the photos tick by next to me is good times, good times. All right, I gotta cut into my face. Enough chit-chat. I gotta cut into my face. Did you get to party with him? Oh yeah, he was in a different hotel. He was! <laughs> he was in a different hotel. I think if I... Well, so Astronomicon holds its own concerts, not raves completely different like legit vocals twisted the rock blaze the dead homie axe murder boys all azula like concerts in the evening <laughs> uh so like that that's really cool that's that's kind of what makes astronomicon um like an experience as well is that you'll have your regular convention in the afternoon then there's the option of concerts in the evening. And of course, your homegirl likes to create a different outfit for every single day and then every single evening, too. So I'm just kind of trying to map out, and you can see it a little better if I get closer, where I want... Makes me wish my face was bigger.
that's yeah okay so I'm gonna lightly hit the outside line of this with this silly again I booped you guys with this liquid liner hotel room parties were fun the cosplay girls kept waking me up every 20 minutes until like 4 a.m. You said you wanted to be a handler, and we just happened to talk. You weren't the only one. Oh, no, Jake wasn't there for that one, was he? I was to say, I, I thought one of the other girls, uh, but no, no, they were female handlers, too. You were just the only dude, sorry. <laughs> only dude handler that last year, sorry. Just gotta take it slow. <laughs> Hi, Dis. How are you today? Rorlin, I am doing well. Just, you know, doing the average makeup that, you know, people are supposed to do on a Wednesday. Good though, it was super cool that you introduced me to Gnosis cosplaying and Cha Cha cosplay. They were super legit, super nice peeps. I agree. I want to. So what I'm doing right now is I'm blocking off the area in which I'm going to have there to there be like galaxy coming out of. The good, the good old casual makeup. Yeah, you know, like the um, the grocery getting makeup. Do you have to part? I'm actually using the mirror that is next to you guys. So forgive me when I uh, I'm getting closer and closer. <laughs> I realize I'm creeping and creeping up and up. I find it fascinating watching people do makeup. Looks freaking hard. Um, I'm still pretty new in the makeup endeavor, in the sense that like, yeah, I've been doing makeup for a while. But I don't... I've just now started getting makeup that is of a better quality, higher quality for one's face. Yes, it is. And uh, my 10k... It is a thumper flu. So we have... <laughs> we have some fantastic emotes. We've got our traditional emotes. Which are the fortune cookie stitches bum bum with the sensor bar because we couldn't just do a normal butthole heart. Uh, popcorn, I love popcorn, Stitch loves treats, and then Stitch being dead because I die a lot of times. Uh, <laughs> then we have the uh, hype, and then for our thanks, which is a five, I think it's, oh, it's the 1k uh, bit emote is a thanks. Those are the two like hype and thanks are two uh, text emotes with my chibi version of me with the wig that I'll be wearing today. Um, and then we've got some Warframe uh, emotes as well, which are these three here. So one of them is the tier two, which is the Van Hammer. That is the Palatine Hammer skin. Um, I put it on there for the Van Hammer. And then the daughter Sith emote. She's got. I've got the mug that I use that says mother's favorite, so her says mom's fave on it. And then the 
10k bit emote, cheer emote, again, still working on the 5k. Uh, the 10k one is me holding up the paracesis, a bloodied paracesis. Now, yes, I do know the blade is being held upside down. However, the blade that you, like, slash people with is the top blade. It looked silly to have the blood drip over it, so, like, I flipped it. Artistic freedom. I flipped it. Um, so yeah, those are, those are our fun emotes. We've got one more coming. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I will have it done prior to our community stream. That I can promise you. Have it done by the end of the weekend? I, I can't promise that. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through and making almost, so the, these lines are perfect. I'm kind of uh, giving a second line or thickening up some of the areas, trailing off a little bit. Looking like it is a uh, an edge, not just like a line, but like there is an edge there to it. can't really see what's going on down there. <laughs> Let me see if I am. got our our cavern our ravine the area in which we will not be dripping black paint by the way just not sure how much browsing you do with new cosplays are not bought caitlin from league of legends would be kind of similar to moxie caitlin from league of legends now i have been i i do a lot of browsing I'm going to let this black dry for a second. Let us... Let's check it out. Oh, yes, I know Caitlyn. You know who actually Evelyn is, uh... My kindred spirit when it comes to League of Legends. Like, if, if I were to do a League of Legends, it, it would be Evelyn, unfortunately. You cog, B, thank you so much for that follow. I hope your Wednesday is going well. Hi, chat. You cog wave says, hi, chat. E, uh, she would. She would. She would be really cool. Especially in the new attire. Her, her style is, I like that style. And I just have to figure out how to do those tundral, tunnel rolls that she's got going crisp and clean. But uh, if if I were to do a League of Legends, she would she would be my my go-to. Succubus, come on! <laughs> he was always awesome when people pull it off. Yeah, I mean I like long nails. She's got long nails. Um, she's got that look. My eyebrow does that look too. Like what the fuck you doing? Um. I don't know. I, I just... She's always been my, my legal... Life. Yes. So I wouldn't do the traditional Keda outfit. Um, for new styles that they've just come out for... They've... Whoever their graphic team is that is that was sectioned to create all of their new looks for their Instagram and content that's coming out with went over and beyond the needing. Uh, Never Know Gaming, thank you kindly for that follow. I hope your Wednesday is going well. Oh my gosh, guys, we are getting so close, not only to our February goal of 900, uh, but like to 1,000. I'm just, my heart, my heart went a little, a little, whew. Uh, I, I humbly appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for all the follows. I am going to drop my social 
in uh, chat if that is something that interests you. You can check Instagram right now and see the face paint that we did last month as we are still tackling this month. Because I talk a lot. I'm seeing what the issue is now. It's because I don't know when to shut up. Alright, so now that it's dry, I should be able to go back in and gently rub away all of our white pencil lines. Because I kind of drew outside the lines. And it's noticeable. But it's white and I should just be able to kind of like rub it in a bit. <laughs> It amazes me the amount of different skin such looks you make from them. That's the goal. That's the goal. Um, so for this one, let's leave that be. I'm going to get black out. Nope, that's purple. Nope, that's red. Black. So I use... Where's my, Where's my cup to fill it up? Um, I use Mayron Paradise makeup, the body paint, for all of my painting endeavors. Come on, focus. There we go. So if you're wondering, like, my daughter paint is Mayron as well. Uh, my Mad Moxie paint is Mayron as well. <laughs> um, the paint from last month's stream was Mayron as well. Now, because we use the cake version, the paradise version of Mayron so much, next month I will be using a different Mayron product. I'm excited. I will be purchasing it. I've got the Amazon order together. I will be purchasing it as soon as we are done with this stream. Um, it will have a liquid activator that needs to do to be with the powder. So at the same time, I'm going to learn something. We're going to learn something together using different products. I love their products. I can't imagine that the powder and liquid form um, would be bad. I can't. I can't imagine it. Getting a cup to put some water into because I do need water to uh, activate. That's a lot more water than I need. That's not something I can't drink this. Don't throw that back, but don't drink that water. <laughs> I was like, I'll just pour from my cup. And then I started pouring it back. I'm like, wow, there's shimmer in that container. Huh. Oops. Paint brush time. Now, so as you guys kind of get an idea, is I've used these white tipped makeup brushes with the red, with the black before. And when I wash my brushes, it does wash right out. That, is, if that helps. You do need to use a setter though, um, or it'll run all over the place. Setting spray, setting spray. And Mayron does have their own setting spray too. So there is a, a Mayron setting spray. For today, we are going to actually use uh, NYX uh, in a matte finish when we're all done. Patient care. Patient care to know. Let's find a paintbrush. Looking for something with a rounded tip. So if you guys are looking, there's the information in regards to Astronomicon, the links to their websites, information. Uh, I want Astronomicon to have you on stage as Retzko uh, with a mic lip syncing to metal music. That would be funny. That would be really funny. Oh, a Gretzko. Oh, let's go. Alright, so I'm just applying, so to get this to work, you gotta add water to it, and then I loop a brush around. And I am going to draw on my tears. Like when I get to pretend that I'm a, the best calligraphy artist there is in, t in town.
I'm just working the water into the black paint right now. And remember, all I have to do is go up to where we made the uh, eyeliner line there. So I'm not even going all the way up to my water duct. And I just kind of make it in gist. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do you know what I want to do now? I want to outline those eyebrows. I'm going to do it. should wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Okay, let's go back into this now. So, at the very beginning of the stream, remember when we had been putting that space, the green and all that? Now we're gonna do that. Now we're ready for all that. Holy cow. Better late than never. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually choose different Because it is such a smaller area, I'm going to use some creams. There is purple. Looking for the purple. Gotta be a darker purple. You too light. Lavender. That's be darker. And then we need. wrong one. Okay, so now we need oh. I'm gonna nope nope I would say do I need to go dump my container because it's full of nope 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 I've got a different glass jar here that we can put water in from the non drinking fund. Don't drink from me, water. All right. Ooh, is that that the anime with the cute panda girl? It is. I will answer that for Sanemius because he's probably at work right now, uh, trying to post in between uh, what he's supposed to be doing. Uh, it is. Yeah, the one on Netflix, the screaming panda. She's like my kindred spirit. <laughs> She's just raging on, day by day. Here. I thought it was great too. Up 
You gotta feel bad for Haida. Fretzko doesn't know. She's the perfect girl for Haida. <sighs> Alright. So I've got some, some color. I wish one of them was a little lighter. I really, I really do. I do. I don't have... So I am just stipling on some green in a galaxy like pattern. brushes to use uh, with the face paints and I just uh, I didn't want to open the new brushes if I didn't need to just yet. They're in plastic. But I got I got two more. You've seen better days. <laughs> I will use you then. So I am going to uh, come back in with the light purple. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure how, uh... to you guys. You could see a little bit too. Push that off the table though.
gonna come in with some darker purple. I didn't immediately put it together. Oh, sorry, I'm just rereading things, forgive me. hard to paint your face like this sometimes. this right oh no it's not a punch mark just hold off a second actually we'll use that one we're gonna use this brush Uh, watering this down as we come in with some black now. there slowly but surely i swear i'm just putting a light layer of sharpens knives <laughs> oh shucks thanks guys now so what we're actually doing el randino is uh i'm trying to make a galaxy that's based off of the galaxy on my nails i think we're getting there i think we're getting there i do have some glitter you guys know how i feel about satan sand um <laughs> I almost kind of want to try something out. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna...
working on uh, some stakes. Uh, so we've got this now, and as this dries, uh, I'm going to wash the paint brushes because I might need to dip them back in there. Um, we can't just leave it like it because it doesn't look three-dimensional at all uh, because there's no value or like irritation to my skin. It's just flat, which we can't leave like that. Sorry, I'm going to fix the cushion I'm sitting on. <laughs> So what I am going to do is I am going to open up a palette again. Find a like angled brush and grab some browns. LOL, I think calling it Satan Sand Project your opinion pretty I <sighs> glitter is Satan Sand. So again, uh, I used to be a high school shop teacher sawdust everywhere that's one thing sawdust is easy to brush off you got sawdust on you can easily brush it off it's not there anymore sit glitter i almost called it satan sand glitter everywhere you bring glitter into my classroom it's going to end up onto a desk it's going to end on somebody's hands it's going to end up in the glue it's going to end up on people's face it's going to end up everywhere you can't just brush that off and think that it's gone glitter lingers <laughs> So what I am doing is I am going to grab some of these browns here that are darker than my skin tone, but not too crazy. And uh, I am going to come in around, trying my best not to hit the uh, paint. that kind of like ooh, what's going on there <laughs> you know, it's like the exact same thing that you think ooh, what's going on there uh, oh wow that's a cool job uh, not the easiest being a teacher in the US from what I've heard uh, it has its pros and it has its cons and unfortunately The teachers here in the States, at least in uh, the states that I am living in, does not, the teaching union in Michigan does n did not help. I, uh, no. <laughs> I just, <laughs> think of can of worms. Um, I'm just going around, it's kind of giving dimension to my face now. not as flat anymore and we're just getting we're just starting this uh, so it's gonna take a minute uh, or a couple more than a minute but So we're just going, cutting down and round and in. And I do appreciate all you guys hanging out and lurking. Much appreciated. So what I'm 
doing now is, since this is a big section here, I am going to uh, slowly like gradate it out to my actual face color. And what I'm doing is I'm dipping my brush into the color and then just pulling it out. Uh, this is how I did a lot of the shadows in the daughter cosplay too. Thank you so much, Rosie Kitty, for uh, that follow. Oh no, that one's wrong. Rosie Kitty, you were a long time ago. <laughs> Young boy T, thank you kindly for that follow. My, I got one screen that's right. I got the other one that's closest to my face, not in the right. My mouse. There we go. Never know gaming. Thank you kindly for that follow, Young boy T, thirty-three. Thank you so much for that follow. I hope your day is going well. Hope your Wednesday is treating you decent. Those nails are freaking pointy. Do you ever like forget you have them on and go to itch your nose or something? I just know if end up doing myself any. So it's not the the nose actually. You get some really good nose picking done with these nails. Um, if if we are going to be honest, some great nose picking happens with these nails. Um. The, what, po poking, I poke my eye, like when you go to like the inside of your eye, but normally my nails are pretty long. The worst thing is when you go to, in the kitchen, you go to open up a cabinet, you put your hand in the knob and you go to pull it out and then you go to pull your hand out. My nails, that hurts, that hurts. Ooh, yeah, El Randinia, like you don't pick your nose from time to time. Just the occasional, just a light pick. <laughs> the biggest winner is stitch. Oh, n stitch nose. When it's, uh, when it's nail day. <laughs> so I don't want it to be, so like, right now it's a little too dark right here. So I'm just gonna... Pull it out a little bit with my finger. Now, again, if this was really coming out of my skin... Couple things, uh, we'd have more red. So I do need to bring some red into this, because we do... You know me, I can't half-ass anything. Um, so give me one second, I do need to bring some more... Into... Not with shovels on my fingertips. <laughs> Good eye contact. Well, so with the shovels on your fingertips, when I had the flat, um, they call it coffin, where it comes in uh, slightly diagonal, but has a flat. It's so great for pulling lotion out of containers to like eye cream. I just use them as like a little shovel to scoop out eye product. So I like the dimensions so much that I want to do it on all of these. I really like that. Almost like I'm purposely giving them a shadow. I really, really, really like that. Like I've got a shadow. Mm. Mm. 
you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm very cool. You know what I forgot to put on? The highlighter. <sighs> Who forgets the highlighter? that Mr. T guy in your uh, ticker for not oh no completely completely um his name is Dustin and he he loved Mr. T so much he didn't he's like T I somebody had asked him he's like she wasn't even a thought <laughs> it was a pity the fool wasn't even a thought <laughs> no I no, isn't that great? And like, without a doubt, there's no way, like, looking at him, you don't know what he is. Like, or like, who he was trying to pay homage to. No, and you know what, El Randino, I will, I will toss that along to him because that will mean a lot to him. I know that that was his first, uh, like, last year was Dustin's first weekend really getting into, like, cosplaying into the themes of the weekend. So I will, I will definitely make sure to be like, hey, you know what? Some people said your your Mr. T was top notch. Um, I will definitely definitely pass along the the notes for sure. That's awesome. Yeah, no, so cool. And I just went with the. So that was Friday night. Friday night was 80s night. Um, or was it 90s night? It was something night. It was like an 80s or 90s night. Um, give him the best. He did a great job. I will I will let him know. And so. We did a pool party, Lady Death, followed by a convention appropriate, I had to put pants on, Lady Death, um, and then afterwards I took the Lady Death makeup and pumped it up even more. See, look at Ashley wearing masks before masks were cool. Um, but yeah. Alright, so I want to cut back in. I want red though, I want a little bit of red. From a fellow game, uh, former German cosplayer. Will do. Will do. He also, he has an Instagram as well. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. That way, if you truly are interested, in, uh, you can you can check out his content too. Everybody and their mom seems to have. My mom even has a just an Instagram. <laughs> If you would like to check out Mr. T's content, uh, here is Dustin's Instagram. You know what? I'm gonna have to give him a hard time. I don't see the Mr. T photo up on his Instagram. He must have taken it down. What is up with you people? People trying to clean up their Instagrams and deleting pictures. Well, what a bummer. I'll have to give him a hard time. Grab his chops a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna go- Ooh, I was like, why, why is this open? Let's close it. Nope, I've gotta bring bread in. Um. I don't know who that could be. Let's uh, dive in with some red now, because again, my skin would be irritated. But the red doesn't necessarily need to be everywhere. You know who has a better red, too? That Seance palette. Where did I put Seance? <laughs> Hello, well, my mom would have. She is proud of mastering what. <laughs> but my 
know it's like a oh bummer lame Yeah, so the the red on the Seance palette is a lot brighter. I'm sure you guys have seen so many different facial expressions from me today. Alright, so now I'm going to add some shimmer to it because that's just the girl thing to do, right? I meant, like, I'm adding a light pink to the red. So that it's a uh... yeah, it catches the light a little bit. All right, and what I can see, I need a little bit more of. Besides my eyelashes and uh, mascara, I didn't I didn't forget about those completely. Those are like the finishing touches. Um, mm, I think I need stars and lipstick, right? Hmm. I got our lipstick out. Eyebrows. They're just not bold enough. Well, I guess you really won't see them that much with the wig on, right? I know what's missing. guys will see here in a second and be like, oh yeah, you are missing that. Wow, this is, this is uh, dry. Alright, well I need to try to find some more here. I did that. Why not a white eggshell color to contrast with some of the spots? Yep, so I'm looking for, um, white to get the stars and do the, 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 the dots, but, uh... She clumpy. <laughs> she clumpy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were, we were, we were on the same mental wavelength there, El Randino. Same wavelength. Cover that keyboard up first. Ooh, the edges! Ooh, I like that! Hold up! I didn't read your statement all the way! Yeah! No, you are correct! You're correct with that, too, like a highlight! Mm-hmm. 
you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. See, this is this is why I like this. We're feeding off you guys got to see me literally have like a mind explosion only an hour and 40 minutes in the stream. <laughs> I do think I need to come in and do a little bit darker of a line like it it's not quite bam there, but I do need some uh There we go. Right, like, oh, ching, it's a sign you saw. <laughs> Yeah, that could be cool. Like, it almost irritated right now, but not quite like Torn Flesh. Yeah! I do wanna, I think I need to come in with a boulder. We kind of lost our outline there. me eyeliner I'll use you for the horrible things that might destroy you and I am going to try to cut in wet and wild some uh, some glitter Let's see if we can uh, get this out of here without making a mess. Try a Sephora angled brush. Again, big huge thank you uh, to everybody that's been hanging out with us today. Truly, truly appreciate it. Some, uh, you guys know how much I hate glitter. Let's add some glitter to this. I'd laugh. You guys can't even see this. I'm just doing this for shits and giggles. You 
guys can't even. Ah, <sighs> so you'll be happy to know that on instead of buying the two large streaming lights, we are going to be getting a mic and a ring light, which should then take care of the issues that we have when we wear the costumes and the headdresses. Uh, Glinda, the good witch. I like your optimism. Well, see, like, a, so it's like a glitter and a gel. <laughs> oh, controlled glitter. I don't know. Part of me wants to put some of my eyebrows too. So I'm going to. Why not? Right, a uh, ring light would be good here. Yeah, yeah. So I I have two soft boxes, large soft boxes, but they are originally for from the studio. Uh, so coming over and once we, I moved and setting them up, the room is smaller. Uh, so I only ideally need one of them to go toward the backdrop. Well, this other boy is doing the best that he can <laughs> under the, the situation. So an 18 inch ring light is literally waiting. Um, and then we will have it on a different arm too. That way it's more positioned where I would be looking most of the time that we game um, and then have you know the boom arm that the cam is on right now would be for the mic that we hopefully soon to get to so yeah and again I am still in the market I know that I got a couple recommendations in regards to mics not looking for a USB mic looking for uh, one of the big boys uh, <laughs> so yeah yeah Keep on going. Alright. I, 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 let's see here. We do. Okay. I thought maybe we could get away with it, but no. We need to cut back in to uh, open part this way. Because we can't. We can't tell where my skin breaks and the design starts right now. That's no good. That's no good. See how that kind of just brightened that up a bit? Yeah, this is what we needed. This is definitely what we needed. Formaldehyde, hello, hello, wonderful. How are you doing this Wednesday? I'm loving all the thumper floofs I'm seeing in chat. There, yeah. I think from all the makeup too, I kind of dulled that black outline when we were adding all, yeah, see it's, and, and, and it's not that it's that black line's not there now. Like, we can see it in the back here. It's just... It's covered with a lot of product. I hear you, sir. What's up? We all hear you. And we see you patting at me, too. And everybody's... What? Get a 
butt wiggle. What is taking you so long? Come on. What's wrong? You just want to hang out with us? Just, yeah, I just want to be a part of the stream. Just, just, I just want to be a part of the stream, guys. I've missed you all. Can you purr for them? Aw, you're so cute. Oh, so cute and fluffy. He noticed I dropped in. Oh, did you notice that Vermildehyde was here? Hmm? Can I finish my makeup? No, you, you determined to stay on my lap even though I'm sitting with one leg over the other? <laughs> Gosh, he doesn't even care. He's like, I'll stay. I'll, I will make, I will sit in the smallest little section. What if I shared the seat with you? Hold up. What if we just shared? What if I shared the seat? You do not need to put one paw on my leg. We can just share the seat together. <laughs> like, we're just seat buddies. There's enough room. Nope, he insists on the lap. We do have to wait for the eyeliner to dry a little bit, but uh. R2 Deacon just subscribed. R2 Deacon, thank you so much for that subscription. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. We are uh, just getting some Astronomicon face paint on right now. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I do still have the uh. The spaceship to paint. I keep forgetting to uh, prime sub that for you. Oh, I, thank you so much. I, you're too kind. Too, too, too kind. I hope you guys are doing well, uh, Deacon. You and and the family. The fam. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. T. T wishes he could say hi. We give. Virtual hugs safely through monitor to you and the little ones. Chat's like, hold up. This is hugging little ones. <laughs> I know. Little kids kind of give me the heebie jeebies. <laughs> A friendly reminder to all of our Warframe uh, Nintendo fam tomorrow. Star Days event drops, so we will be powering up the stream again. That way we can get in on all that fashion frame. We hope you guys are doing well too. Oh, shucks. Yeah. Yeah. With, I mean, wish, wish I had concerts and conventions and, and all the fun things, but all in all, don't have too much to complain for. Right, Stitch? He goes, I'm complaining. I think I've come to the grasp realization that she really does want a kitten. Yeah, a kitten. Do you want a kitten? Do you want a kitten, Stitch? You got silent all of a sudden. Don't do that, you silly billy. I mean, I ask for it half the time. Okay, so now we have that Astronomicon <laughs> spaceship. I think it's gonna have to go right, right here. Where's my pencil? This is where things could get dicey. Stitch, what are you doing down there, dude? I want it on a, on a steeper angle. Okay, so hold on. Ooh, I see a different angle here. Okay, so I can actually bring it. Draw it bigger too than it really should be. 
Remember, we all have that issue. We try to draw bigger than it really is. Than it really is. Don't be a jerk stitch. Um, alright, so I need yellow, right? Yellow and some red. Um, that's a bright ass yellow. Let's get a normal yellow up in this. It's so bright. Sunny yellow is like an unreal yellow. We're gonna go with school bus yellow. I'm feeling nostalgic. School bus yellow it is. We need a red. We need a red, red, red. We're gonna go engine red. School bus yellow. Wow, somebody was really original with these. Um, white. first. The actual, as you can tell in the images there, and it's actually over there too. Just hear the cat getting up to no good. Gonna start with a yellow. smoke cloud that was going to go there. Um, I want to make sure that I get to everything situated. Where did I put the paintbrush? There you are. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ooh, it's coming along nicely. Thank you. We are, uh, I'm waiting because everybody absolutely knows how comfortable it is sometimes to be wearing uh, fake eyelashes. So the eyelashes and the mascara, which is really driving me crazy, is the last thing that I will put on. Um, but we're going to do the spaceship right now on my neck. So I'm going to do my best to turn adequately so that you guys get a good view. And let's, uh, let's get this spaceship going. Spaceship's not just yellow, but I'm gonna start with just yellow. Because it too is the lightest color. Okay, it does taper. I was like, does it taper at the back end? It does. that hastefully and uh, we will add more I don't want to add too thick of layers I would rather add six really thin layers and not have to worry about cracking or like unwanted moving and pulling of pigment. this dry for a second. While that's drying, I am going to start with the smoke. Did you find out that there wasn't enough room for you up there, Stitch? Because, like, that's what I'm looking at right now. 
So I want trying to get like a a swirl, but I can't see where I put it. <laughs> oh man. That's funny. I wonder if I can like... There we go. That is hard to do backwards. Ships flying away on us. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of red down. Oh, maybe we're, we're more white or yellow. Not me. <laughs> no, but really, too. So again, if you are just now stopping my stream or realizing that you, we, uh, you were raided by, or you guys raided me, uh, welcome, hello, I am Disfusional. Friends call me Dis, please feel free to do so as well. I am an ultra widescreen gamer, but once a month, I like to drop a waypoint out for Wednesday and we will do a face paint look FX. Last month, we glued things to our face. Next month, we're going to be in for a really messy treat. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just some homage to Astronomicon today as we uh, remember all the fun we had with friends. Astronomicon 4 is currently scheduled for August 20th through 22nd. Again, that is hoping everything goes well. Who knows what could happen between now and then, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm using the mirror that's here. Oh my goodness, Prong, oh my goodness, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? You'll have to forgive me, it is hard when you are painting your throat to talk.
I'm surprised chat isn't moving with so many people here. I'm well, hope you are too. <laughs> We're too invested watching the artistic. You're either that or wondering like, wonder how itchy her face is. I am thankful that everybody's hanging out with me, even if they're just silently lurking. Yeah, it's coming along! Okay. I think most of us here are just relaxing and enjoying the stream. You know what? I couldn't ask. You guys know I love a chill, laid-back environment. So that, that's perfect for me. All right. So I've got to be careful right now why this dries. It is on the, like, crease of my neck ever so slightly. So you'll forgive me. I'm just going to kind of sit here and, and fan my neck and read and hang out with chat for a second. Still working. Going to finish a design. <clears throat> That's why I'm in and out. Oh, well, El Randinio, I completely understand it is Wednesday that many of you guys are adulting and at work um, I'm very fortunate to have so many of you popping in making sure I'm still alive still breathing you know haven't decided to just start consuming all of this paint <laughs> I was initially going to put orange on it but I think just sticking with the colors of Astronomicon not bad <clears throat> I do need to put some white into it. It's weird seeing so many people. Didn't even see that many with Warframe going. Really? Warframe? There were thousands of people. Um, so what happened was Warframe raided Angry Unicorn and by a godsend, Angry Unicorn decided to bless us with all of the love. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, Angry Unicorn. So uh, I hope... Sometimes, you know what? I should do a, a cosplay Warframe stream, right? <laughs> uh, where I, I, ooh, no, no, there was, there'd be a lot of nip slips. Um, can't do a daughter cosplay getting ready stream. <laughs> it would only be from like a here up. <laughs> uh, awkward. All right. Garuda getting ready. Just drinking a whole glass of wine, the blood of her enemies. My day so far, boss got Equinox stuck on his way to get Subaru. I get truck stuck getting Equinox out, proceed to take Equinox to pick up Subaru, use Subaru to get truck out, the circle of life for auto moves in Michigan winter. Wow, that's a, that's a real, <laughs> Equinox gets stuck on way to Subaru. Truck gets stuck to Equinox, or t truck gets stuck to Equinox. Uh, proceeds to go Equinox to Subaru, then Subaru to truck. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Twitch was acting up, so it had to leave Taylor early. Oh no! Hopefully you were able to get your watch drop though from Eldehyde. Hopefully you were able to get your watch drop. I know uh, tomorrow's Thursday, right? So tomorrow is the stall to barrel. So they have that white line on the bottom of their design. I'm going to do it too. I don't know how much I like that white at the bottom there, so let's just... Pretend it only half exists. Alright, so now I've got to add a little bit of gray. To the 
smoke clouds. I missed the Warframe stream. Oh no, Roland, I did. There is a updated announcement or in our like Warframe updates that has the link to the um, forum where it has all the updates. So I, I have been trying to do as much as I can over on our Discord with events that are coming up with the star days, uh, just to kind of keep everybody in the loop because I know that things are just crazy. And so if, I, if I've got an extra, a little bit of extra time to be able to help out, glad to, glad I can. Was a bit sad as Taylor is my favorite. She's just so sweet. Ugh. I have a feeling if she was eating a bagel and you asked her politely, like in person, Taylor, can I have a bagel? She'd be like, sure. <laughs> like, she just seems so nice. She'd give you the food right out of her mouth. Um. So let's, uh. Did you guys think I was going to leave that smoke line white? You're crazy! <laughs> She's cute, Debbie. She is. Uh, you just want to put her in your pocket, right? I... You know what? She's the type of person that if you're in somewhere, like somebody's got you upset and like you're you're a little anxious and you're like, <sighs> you know, you're starting to get hot and underneath the counter, she'd be that friend that would come up and just like put her hand just like on your, on your back going, it's okay, don't worry about it. And you'd be like, oh my gosh, you're so right. It, it does doesn't matter. It, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> like Danielle, oh, Danielle is a, I, all of the stream, all of the DE community streamers are just so nice. And a meanwhile, just being so small enough, you can actually put her in your pocket. It's the small ones you gotta watch out for. What we make, what we lack in height, we make up for ferocity. All right, so we are, we're getting there. We are actually getting closer now to the end. Make some of you guys sad, I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to drag this one out. The first hour and 46 minutes, all we did worthwhile was do our eyebrows because I wiped everything else off. And I have to say, I'm really glad we did because this is so much better. Wasn't this a better idea? Hell yeah. Uh, have you ever had to leave your house while mid-makeup sessions for an emergency or something? Well, Cheetone. As I wait for this to dry before I, I go in with some black, story time. I, um, I had a event in May, it was in May, two years ago, three years ago, two years ago, two years ago, and I was in full on, like, satyr battle makeup. Um, I had my furry pants on for it, I had my corset on for it, I had the makeup fully done. I, it was my brother's, it was my nephew's birthday, so I went to the birthday normal, and then got dressed and finished changing in uh, my brother's bathroom, and then proceeded to get into the car and get ready to go. Um, a guy ran a stop sign and ended up T-boning us, and uh, I had gotten out of the car in full satyr makeup, and that's how I talked to the police officer, because like, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? So maybe not like in an emergency situation, but I, I do, I leave the house often in makeup. I will do most of my makeup for conventions like that Friday. Um, I will, if, if I'm not having to travel long distance and it's like a Michigan convention where I will, st it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday convention, usually I'll do my makeup Friday at home um, and then go to the convention. That way I can like show up an hour, a little hour later than normal, you know, if my makeup's already done. Um, <laughs> Then, um, 
yeah, so like I, I'd, I'd leave the house. A lot of times people in Michigan, if you've seen me prior to a convention, or if you see me, I'll have, because uh, I wear glasses. Like I, I physically can't see without my glasses on. So I will have a piece of paper towel or tissue underneath the nose guard of my glasses on the bridge of my nose. Um, if you're like, did you break your nose? I'm like, no, I just don't want to rub and smear off my makeup yet. <laughs> At least you're full makeup. Yes. But, but here we go. Full makeup. I had my hair net on. I had just a corset and furry pants. Like full, like the reverse leg built in like satyr pants and sneakers. No hooves. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right. I am going to cut into our ship now. For some reason, it just said welcome to chat for me. I'm not really sure what's going on, Twitch, but okay. everywhere need more makeup streams do stitch next oh you want me to... you want me to paint my face with stitch on it paint myself to look like stitch's real mom a little shaky so pardon me I'm going to uh, mama dis also gave me some uh, sweethearts I'm a little a little shaky right now so give me a second I'm gonna snack on something what do we have here love it says as I chewed that with vigor. Mod pole, mod pole. Oh goodness, what are we mod polling? Salty or sweet popcorn? Okay, 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 I got you. Sorry, I was really intensely staring at my neck. <laughs> pull, 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 pull. Thank you. 
Now I had to add a section on there that was called sweet, salty, or plain because some of us don't like anything on their popcorn. And I'm going to refund you one of those mod points. I got you. Ooh, a both. Oh man, okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Should we restart the poll? Hold up, okay, we're gonna end the poll. And we'll come up with a new one. New poll, new poll, new poll. Popcorn, sweet or salty or what do you say, cheesy or spicy? Oh no, oh, sweet or salty, there is both, sorry. All right, now I got you guys. Now I got a poll. I could only put so many options in the poll. Now you guys may vote on your popcorn essentials. I got popcorn stuck in my teeth. Don't look. I'm gonna go with plain. You guys know where my vote is. Plain all the way. Plain Jane. Cheesy. I would have never thought cheesy. Looks and points. <laughs> cheesy. It's there. Two people like salty and sweet. Ooh. I'm learning your popcorn tendencies, chat. Alright. We've got that done. We are getting there, slowly but inevitably. I am going to put a couple items away as I uh, need to clear off space for the next part. Because there's, there's stuff everywhere. We've got one for salty, three for both, one for cheesy, and nobody's with me with the plain Jane popcorn. Interesting, you all like razzle dazzle popcorn. I guess that makes sense. If you're going for something, go for something good. That is something boring. That's there. We've got one makeup palette used to makeup. I put the third one away already. Makeup everywhere. Makeup everywhere. So again, I use the Seance palette, if you guys are wondering, for a lot of the reds and the greens. I use my Impressed by Beauty Glazed for my eyes, or no, for the dark blacks. For my eyes, I use the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, which is right here and needs to be put away. You're the only person I've ever heard of eating plain popcorn, Elva. I've never even seen plain popcorn in a shop apart from... Um, so, I cook my own popcorn at home in a whirly pot. Yay, 2020, making us all self-sufficient. Um, so, I'm baking my own bread, making my own cookies, popping my own popcorn. And I made my own boba. Finally perfected boba. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, I, I used to... Used to. Past tense. Pop popcorn in the whirly pot just using vegetable oil. Now I use olive oil. Thank you, Eve Midnight. Love it. Um, I just use the olive oil. I love it plain. Oh, so good. I'm also a fan of um, rice cakes, like plain rice cakes with nothing on them. I like plain wa or plain bagels. Ooh, pretzel bagel. That's. You make those boba bubbles yourself? Well, I don't make the the freeze-dried tapioca myself, but uh, I give back life to what was once frozen. Give life back to the freeze-dried tapioca pearl. 
just trying to gather some semblance of what's on the desk here. Like here right now is the keyboard cover for all the water. Um, there's the wig. <laughs> there's my wig I need. Uh, I've got paintbrushes everywhere. Oh, there's my... Okay, cool. That's what I need too. So we're trying to find things at the same time. We are cleaning up a little bit here and there. Oh, man. Stuff everywhere. Uh, well, I was wondering why that ghost was behind you now. I know. The ghost? Oh, the ghost isn't. That's me. That's me. That's me. This is uh, an astronaut. Andy the astronaut. He's also depicted right there. It's on my witch's hat. I got my cup here. Bunch of old promo. The ghost was behind you just staring up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave all that makeup there. I'm gonna leave all that there. just need to be able to close this drawer for a second. Like, that's all I'm looking for, is just to close the drawer so I can move on to the next task and I don't have to worry about putting my wig in, in paint or, or makeup. Small, small things. Alright, I think I'm to a point. Yeah, she's closed. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Do we need to outline anything else? I think it's time for a snack time. Oh. Well, I was wondering why. Oh. Snack time. Oh, you think it's snack time now? Not snack time yet for me. Sorry, my lips are really dry. This negative seven degree weather is not helping. Oh, it's snack time now. We are talking about snacks. You got it? Baked an egg. Don't get too crazy over there with your baked egg. Where is my setting spray? I dropped it, but I thought I picked it back up. Well, now we've got an even bigger. Huh. Well, what if I see my setting spray? somewhere on the floor. <laughs> Obviously it's around here center, somewhere. Sunny side up on bread with a slice of ham under it. Ooh, I do like an over easy egg on some toast and after I've smooshed it up and like popped the yolk, I'll put a little bit of guacamole on top. Yum. Negative seven. Whoa, do you actually use the temperature measurement system of... No. No, I'm I'm an American, and so we apparently need to be different in all of our calculations and, and what we've raised and taught our children. And as I'm sitting here, I'm staring at my face, and I'm looking at the really cool spaceship, I'm realizing we didn't give it any shadow. Um, so I'm pulling out this palette again, and just like we did with the eyes, or like my teardrops, I'm going to do the same thing with this down here. So I'm going to go into... Uh, These lighter areas. That way it looks like it's flying off my neck. No, Michigan. Michigan is frigid. I'm 
Very cool. All right, so this is, you can kind of see the shadows that I'm putting in there. So close. There we go. So I'm gonna just take my thumb and drag it down. One, because it needs it. Two, it's gonna contour the side of my neck and make it look like I want this intentionally to do. Yeah. Up on this line here that way when I go to do my photos it really will make that pop and how we make that pop even more is putting a little bit of highlight too on my neck it's gonna happen uh, so let's get that highlight back out highlight brush Alright, now it's time for my favorite part. I almost forgot the mascara and fake eyelashes. Oh. Alright, give me a second. Ooh, I've always thought most... Oh, oop, 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 oops. Itogi is angry. I forgot to spill my food. Oh no! My wife would fight you over that comment. What comment? Highlighter? Almost done? Wanting my neck to pop? There is no option. Oh, popcorn sucks. Wow, Sinemius, Sinema, you're, you're slinging fighting words. You're slinging fighting words around here. I've always thought, must be a nightmare making stuff in Imperial measurements. So, well, like, whose idea was seconds of an inch? That's, that's a bloody awkward. <laughs> and you know what's even bloody awkward? It's like, trying to teach high schoolers that. Um, that's even more awkward. I don't... I can't break it down for you any more than I are. <laughs> Let's see here. I need a mascara. And, uh... I need some fake eyelashes. I've got my duo. And I said I needed fake eyelashes, but I got a bunch, so we're gonna pick. How many... How many fake eyelashes does a girl need? Quite a few. They're all different. All of the eyelashes are different. Huh. Amy Deacon, thank you so much for that follow. I hope you are doing well. I'm sitting here painting my face a little bit. We got some Astronomicon vibes based off of my fingernail. Um, we'll do a photo shoot after I pop my wig on. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out what eyelashes to don. What eyelashes, what eyelashes indeed. Ew, gross. 
Not the eyelashes. Just me, as a person. <laughs> oh, da, da. All I can think about um, is Star Days tomorrow. So pumped. So pumped. So it... I was... <laughs> I was trying to figure out which eyelashes I should rock. I figured the easiest way would be to see which ones I have the most of. Well, conveniently, um, I have already apparently gone through and used that tactic. Uh, <laughs> so I am going to go for something just ridiculous. And we'll go for these long boys here. I am going to peel two of them off. Alright, actually, I don't have tweezers on me. Give me a one minute break. I gotta spray my face with some, um, some matte sealer, and then I need to grab tweezers to pull off eyelashes, and I'll be right back. Like, uno momento. I work in an industry that used both metric and imperial nightmare town 5000. All I can think about is watching the new episodes of Log Horizon tonight. Ooh! I watched the, uh, kid from the boonies the other day, too, on Monday. It's my favorite. Uh, the only difference I've ever heard of imperial measurements in crafting is that you can have one-third and one-fourth measurements of feet and yards. Similar to cooking, um, yep, that is true. You can get a quarter of a yard, half a yard, eighth of a yard. That is true. It is true. Alright, I will be back in, I'm, I'm just a second to the point that I'm going to leave everything up and going. I'm just going to mute myself. It wasn't even a snack break. I needed tweezers. So I sprayed myself down. I've got to kind of let it dry for a second. Ah, <sighs> what do we have here? You can do fractions in metric two. They just make more sense. Uh, always funny when she mutes herself, instantly forgets and keeps talking. Oh. So I end up talking to myself a lot of the time throughout the day, so it's not even necessarily that I'm talking to you guys, it's just I get in the habit of saying what I'm doing a lot, that it does not stop. So like once I'm muted and I keep talking, nothing coming out of this flapping trap is of any importance or relativity. <laughs> not that even when I'm unmuted, it is. Alright, there is our... That looks really cool. Yeah! Astronomicon! I, I do... I need to put more. There we go. Need a little bit more. Just a little bit. So again, we're gonna go with these oh. these guys here. I'm gonna pull them off the top. Ooh. Eve Midnight raiding us with two Well, let me move my wig out the way. Cause it my wig was was on on the keyboard. <laughs> and let's Wow, I got like eyelash boxes and everything everywhere right now. Midnight, I hope you had a wonderful stream. Let's uh, do a shout out to Eve. Go and check them out. Check them 
What what's going on? What what happened? Why are we not are we choosing not to work? What's going on? Did I spell something wrong? World around me. Oh no, I did something. Did not mean to do that. It happened. Um I don't know what was over there, what I just did, but I did something on this screen over over on this monitor. Why is my bot not working? Do I not? What is going on? Let's view and docs. In chat stats. Did it like move somewhere? I guess I'm uh wondering what the heck is going on. I guess I just leave it. I can't remember what was there to begin with. I think I clicked a button and it lost something and I don't know, Eve, why I can't do, uh... No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't need the at. I shouldn't, though. Because that's... It's going to give me the at symbol with the, uh... Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where my bot's at right now. Um, we're having... We're having some minor hiccups, apparently, at this moment in time. Great. I'm sorry for this. Yeah, even my mods are like, we don't know what's going on. Okay, hold on. Maybe we have to wake it up? Bot, where you at? Oh no, like, we've got no bot. Well... That's what I did. I disconnected the bot. Oh. Um. I don't know what happened or what I just did, but I, uh, lost myself, um, <laughs> um, later, leave, uh, later, there, okay, there, I'm back, I'm back, <laughs> yikey deuce, okay, so why am I in, oh my gosh, stream elements, you, we lost our bot. Welcome to the chat room. I haven't gone anywhere. I don't know where our bot went to. Hold up. Let's see how we figure this out. So it says, your bot is broken. I know, bot's having a major brain fart. It's having a bigger brain fart than I am. But like somehow I lost the bot. Top of the bar, top of the bar. There's a bot in the bar, the bot in the bar, the bar in the bot. Where do I go? How do I figure this? How do I fix it? How do I fix it? Channel. Owner. Well, obviously I'm in the right one. I don't want to import it, I want. I don't have those options. We'll figure this out. Slowly but surely, right? I don't know. Okay, so hold on here. Oh, man. Okay. Chat, you should be... I...
We are seriously now. I know if she has lenses. And oh yeah, yeah. No, they're big. They're big. Bot and tipping setup. I already did the bot and tipping setup. I don't know what I just did. We are. Uh... Um, well, I broke the bot for the last, apparently, a half hour to hour of stream. Um... I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't... I've got nothing. I have no clue what happened. I'm sorry, Eve! <laughs> Thank you so much for the, the raid! Wow! Broke the bot. Like, I... Broke the bot. <laughs> I don't think you uh, did it. Stream elements probably just went down. Well, I've got I've got stream uh, the OBS. It's like it, it just dropped off of my my server here. So like I said that it's just not there. It happens from time to time. Okay, so maybe I'm not crazy. I know that it kept saying like welcome to chat, and I'm like, well hold on, I've been in chat for quite some time now. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just ugh ugh. We were doing so well today, everybody. We were doing so well, and I find a way to mess things up. Okay. Well, task at hand first is eyelashes. So I've got some fake eyelashes. I'm truly sorry. Bummer. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that when I pull these off, too, I grab them from the corners. You don't want to lose any of your lashes. Um, I just booped you guys. I can't. I've cleaned off the table, so I'm just going to stick these to the table. The longer I keep these pans, these trays out, the more likely cat hair is going to stick to them. As much as we like cat hair on every single surface, maybe not in our eyeball. It's back now? But is it really back? I don't... I think it's doing timers, but it doesn't want to do commands. That's what's blowing my... Oh, okay, it is back. There we go. Stupid thing. Stupid, stupid thing. Thought I was going absolutely crazy on this end. <laughs> absolutely crazy. <sighs> okay. Now that we have not fully lost our line, only partially, I am going to see how these eyelashes will sit up with my eyes. I might need to trim them, but we will find out now. Oops. Put that in my chin. Let's just be let's just be honest with ourselves. Drop 
loved it. I'm going to... Disappear for a sec. more gum on it myself. Those things look like such a thing. <laughs> yes, yes, they are a pain. Um, but boys can't say they don't like ladies with that full, full eyelashes. Um, actually, I don't want to use this. That's intense. I want the clear, please. So I'm going to use some duo eyelash adhesive for these guys. Again, I thought I could get away with just the adhesive that was on them. I was there. I do not need to trim them, just pull the cat hair that's found their way to them off. I'm going to lightly just put them glue. I've used eyelash glue to uh, adhere things to my face before. It's stronger than you give it credit for. <laughs> More eyelash glue. More eyelashes. Now we wait 30 seconds before we stick this thing with actual, let see, like with actual glue on it. Right. Again, I'm going to move this just for sake of the matter and try to uh, quickly as possible. Nice in. Just stop. I'm gonna click, click something away. <sighs> so I like to look down. That way my eyelid's already in like that. Downward position so I can see where the, the lip is. So like it's actually laid, I will go and push my lashes up into the fake ones. That way it looks a little bit more seamless. And then I'm gonna cake mascara on them. Because that's how we do. So now I got the second one. I should be able to put the second ones on with you guys being able to see a little bit more. Um, crossing over is never easy for me. We've come a long way from what I initially started like, huh? Welding, what's your favorite machine shop tool? Scroll saw. Scroll saw. 
Or Bandsaw. Squirrel Saw. I'm gonna go with Squirrel Saw. Squirrel Saw, yep. And yeah, again, not like saying like a uh, hammer or, you know, a... but like fun tools. Squirrel Saw. Getting real up close and personal with you guys right now. Wham bam, my eyelashes are on now, man. cover. Don't get crap on the keyboard. They feel these eyelashes. Wow. Feel really soft. Her favorite tool in the shop is her brother's tool. <laughs> I mean, no, most, oh, brother's tools. You're talking about brother sewing machines. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Actually, it's Bernina's. Bernina's. The brothers are the, uh... I need a brush. I need a brush, quickly. We'll grab these, too. We'll end up needing these anyways. Might as well grab them now. Bernina's are my, my go-to sewing machine, as well. What do you need for star days? Is it all different depth bonds? Yeah, so you won't need any different currency. You'll just need ticker depth bonds. You can pick them up from Ticker in Fortuna. Once you get to Fortuna, just click that fast travel button and it'll take you to them. Just combing it out before I put it on my head. Trash can for some flyaway hairs. Sideburns, adjust them accordingly. Now, I was debating on the pink wig. I do have a black wig, too. Um, the pink wig is just the one that I wear uh, for Astronomica. So that's why I pulled out homo events a going out wig it's seen things if this wig could talk oh my gosh the stories there we go oh almost forgot the mascara Just a Clinique mascara. It's nothing, nothing fancy. Scarecrow blonde. My eyebrows are pink. my eyelashes together with mascara with the fake one that way everybody's hunky dory
even pull the ends back a little bit if we wanted to. I feel like I need to go get those ears. Bounties takes forever. Ugh. That's why I just buy them from Ticker. But I started the Friday that they told us that uh, the event was going to take place. Alright, so I do need to do a couple things, I think. Well, maybe not. You know what? We don't, we don't need to do overkill. We don't need to do overkill. Okay, I'm going to put some lipstick on. We are going, so this is Weirdo by Jeffree Star. The black, black, uh, velour liquid lip. Checking back in now that I'm done with work today. Looks really awesome. Thank you. So we've got the, uh, Astronomicon. It matches our, Galaxy matches our hands. We're gonna pop it off with some lip. That's a very modest Cupid's bow. I didn't accentuate my Cupid's bow too much. black lipstick. Sorry not sorry on that one. Uh, well, let's see here. I saw you guys as I was just lathering up my lips in blue or liquid lip. What are you guys chatting about here? Checking back now and I'm done with what? Looks real awesome. Thank you. So we've got the Astronomicon. Oh, I wish Astronomicon was this upcoming weekend. Yeah, I can't afford to buy them. Very cool. Probably be easier to run index for credits than doing the bounties. Oh! That is true. That is true. I know that a lot of the resources are from, like, mining or fishing or shooting down the little sacks that are underneath the, like, mushroom tops in Fortuna. What's index? Index is uh, on Uranus. He Adam, uh, Roland might not be far enough along in the star chart to do the index. Um, so in that case, then, Roland, you would need to be carried, which I would gladly, gladly do if you wanted to, uh... We could, I would be down for running the index once or twice, uh, tomorrow. Index is an area game. Oh, Neptune. Sorry, Neptune. It's on Neptune, not Uranus. What do I know? Oh, so you're so close. I'm on Pluto. You're you're real. You're just 
a hop, skip, and a jump away. No problem. Yeah, I'm the Uranus, uh, with the wrong information. It was Neptune. It was Neptune. Oh, you do have Neptune on that. So if you go to Neptune, you'll see, like, index in the center. And as I talk, I'm realizing... I forgot the inside of my lip. just keeps going off. It's going. If anybody is willing to help slash show... Oops, 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 let me get this mirror out the way. Uh, if anybody is willing to help slash... or show slash help me with index, I would be great to help. I have never done it before. So I don't know what to do. You basically run around collecting tokens and turning in tokens. <laughs> to rock the index a bit this weekend. Ticker puts a hurt on the credits. He does. He does. I uh, may or may not have given him five mil real quick. Um, if anyone is willing to... Oh, yep, 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 read that already. Not that difficult, but much easier to learn with a squad the first time. Rhino makes it super easy, but fine. Uh, just find some energy and start a match and pop iron skin makes it a lot easier. Yes! Uh, Rhino was my go-to at the beginning when I was running index, and then you know me. Now I only run it with Titania. Uh, so I can carry Titania up to 15, 15 tokens to drop at a time. Um, I don't, I dare not go above 15 because then um, my energy just gets depleted too quickly and I fall out of the sky. And nobody wants that. Um, so Diz, silly question, been following you for a bit now. How is it that even if you're angry or panicked, you still sound cute? Because I save the real angry and ugliness for when I'm angry. For when I'm real angry. That and there's just so much ugliness that happens when I wake up out in the morning that I use a whole lot of it up. Like, ooh, does she even know words? <laughs> no, I. you guys are too kind. You guys are too kind. I have my moments, it's just... It's easy to be happy and outgoing when you're hanging out with friends and doing things that you like and enjoy. Playing video games. Even even in even in the poopiest of poop of video games. Like, okay. Playing video games. Things could be worse. Putting makeup on. I gotta wash my face. Or wipe it off. Things could be worse. Uh, so that's... I pick and choose my battles of what to be really frustrated about um, these days. I was... I was little, okay, little little personal. I I was very angry when I was a younger kid. <laughs> I uh, I was very angry as a high schooler, as a teenager. Very angry, um, to the point that like I would I would have anxiety attacks because I was just there was just so much anger inside of me. Like I was I literally was fuming throughout the weeks. Like, I, I literally could not keep how angry I was inside. Um, there was a lot going on um, it, to, to, like, to help build this up. But, like, ah! Um, so, 
instead of hurting myself and like and I used to punch things I would punch things until my fists were all bloody um, I this is so weird softball was my outlet uh, like I would go to the batting cages in high school for hours until like I had blisters breaking on my palms um, I've sensed removed what angers me out I, I don't have time for all that hate for all that hostility for all that anger. it it was exhausting to be that angry all the time but I mentally there was nothing I could do there was like I I there was rightfully I had a reason to be angry um so like I, I had to as I was getting older I just had to figure out what I wanted for myself and so like my freshman and sophomore year of college was like Ashley's just found herself <laughs> let's just put it that way um where I removed everything that was frustrating me and slowly let things in that I thought needed to be brought in and uh, like from from there I was able to figure out what was causing me so much issues what was causing you know because I I mitral valve prolapse of the heart like what was causing all these issues it's gone I don't gotta worry about that no more my life's I mean we all have our moments I have my anxiety attacks I have triggering moments too um like where you're just flooded with the like there's there's some triggers we all have them we you know there's nothing we can do about it but I take a deep breath I, I mean like it's it's just a yeah. I'm pain. I mean, so like, again, I pick and choose. I have to pick and choose my battles. <laughs> yeah, pretty much kill, pick up shiny things, go to the bank, repeat until you. Yep, 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 yep. Don't die. Um, every every like five tokens, you get extra tokens. So there's there's an incentive for holding on to more, but you don't want to hold on to too many because then you lose your energy and. Give and take. It's fun, though. It's fun, Merlin. It's it's really easy to pick up, and once you get into the swing of things, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Yeah, sounds more complicated than it is. <laughs> it, is it, it is. It was just... But, I mean, I'm good now. No, that does not mean that if I cut myself or if something happens, uh, I won't be upset. But it takes, it takes a moment. It takes... Unless somebody is taking advantage of me, um... And, like, I'll even let, for, like, conventions and small conventions, I'll even, like, bend over backwards and do a lot more than I should just because, like, I'd rather it be done correctly the first time around. But, uh, I I've blown up a couple times, maybe? Once in 2019? I was, there was a moment... In 2019, I was so angry, I was shaking. I was, I, I was so angry. <laughs> Sitting in, so, story time. And, and we'll end, we'll wrap up stream after this. So, story time. Um, there was a convention, uh, that I was, uh, I was tossed in the middle of something that the, I was a guest there to help judge the convention and the, uh, cosplay coordinator my name tag head button cheese person lady didn't want to do anything anything and so like I had put up with it and put up with it and put up with it and finally it was the last straw and she goes I need you to write all these names out so I can legibly read them you can't type them no, no, I need to write. I, I need you. I need them to be written out. You can do that yourself. You've got better penmanship. She threw the papers at me. And then walked out the room. I... The smoke must have been coming out of my ears because next thing I know, I have security coming into the room and closing the door behind them going, Are you alright? <laughs> I, I was like, are you serious? Like you, There's tact. 
if you want to push off your job onto somebody else, there's tact and class. Hey, I, I know I'm supposed to write these, but I don't really want to. My penmanship is shit. Can you do it? Throwing your effing clipboard at me and telling me I have to do it? It's just one of those moments I was like, oh. And I uh, granted, things had been accumulating, and so, like, finally, Mount, Mount Suvius erupted. I erupted good. <laughs> But again, behind closed doors, because always a professional. Never let that person... I was professional about it. I didn't invite them out to eat with us afterwards. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> My payback. You can't sit with us! <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh. Oh. It, and you know what, El Randino? I was not. I was doing it out of the good gracious of my heart just because, like, I thought, you know, friends and niceties. And you know what? That is when I learned. And the, my handler that was with me told me, too, this you got to put yourself first. You don't need this. You got to put yourself first. So. Oh, well, she missed out. So, right? We went to that one place. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just, she missed some bacon wrapped meat. Just saying it was great. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Ash went ahead, Chile Runner. You can't sit with us. Um, no, no, I, I, I was just, uh, <laughs> I would have followed up. Well, and so, like, but, but Adam, it had happened. It had happened so fast. Like, there were, there had already been, like, there had been build-up. There were three judges in the room, and so one of the judges and myself were chit-chatting with each other. It was an anime convention. There had been turmoil. The main girl who was wearing Wonder Woman wanted to turn away some Destiny's three cosplayers because they weren't wearing anime cosplayers, but I told her, how can you say that when you yourself are wearing a Wonder Woman cosplay that you didn't even make, that you bought, or that your mom made for you? You didn't even make that's, you know, neither here nor there. You're wearing Wonder Woman. You can't turn away a Destiny's cosplay because they're not wearing anime when you yourself aren't wearing anime. So, sitting in Himokotoga, already, like, in character, you know, like, ready to bite somebody. Uh, <laughs> I have been talking, like, with the other judge, just, you know, just just general, like, oh, that's, that's funny, you know, this is what we did, this, you know, I'm kind of working this. And there had been three points where she had interrupted me adamantly um in a means that like if I was telling a story I'd stopped because like she wanted to tell the judge a different story and so the third time um I didn't think um, the third time she interrupted us, I looked to her, and I must have, like, she must have seen laser beams, because I looked at her. And she goes, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and, uh, she, no, she didn't say I'm sorry. She, she said something or not. She goes, and what do you think? I go, well, would you let me continue? And, like, it came off laced in venom. Like, I... If I didn't have a poison tolerance up, like a toxin tolerance up the wazoo, like the way that that sentence rolled off my tongue, passed through my flapping trap, it was laced thick with venom. And it, it, oh, it was one of those moments. And like I said it and I was like, you know what? Glad I didn't think about it because I wouldn't, if, if I had thought about it, thought it through, I wouldn't have said it, which would have then let her walk over me even more through the through like the the issues that we had had there. Um, so like I I'm glad I said it. Maybe should have like toned the dial down. Just but uh ah, yeah. So like things had been building up um, and building up and like I was 
doing her task because she didn't want to leave the chair. It, it was it was a toxic situation, and that's one of them that um, there, there, there will be things need to change uh, if I'm going to show back up there. <laughs> uh, to put things kindly. Again, I can laugh about it now, but like in the moment, I would... <laughs> Oh, okay, so a couple of last things. My uh, signature spike collar. And like the thing, here's here's the kicker. She couldn't pull that she didn't know me. We went to the same effing college together. Like we went to the same private liberal arts college together. I know what you majored in. I know what you're choosing. Like, girl. Everybody's poop smells the same. <laughs> but, yeah. That was, that was an interesting time. <laughs> I want to know more. <laughs> oh, oh, Deacon. You actually know. Uh, so I I love it when real life friends uh, join us in on Twitch. So Deacon being a real life friend. Oh, I don't I don't I'm not gonna drop names here because you know I like to be a classy bitch from time to time. But uh, I will uh, I will send uh, a message to let you know who it was and uh, choir. Were I, I believe, were either, I think one was, were either of you in choir? I think so. I, th I think, I think your wifey, I think wifey-san, she was in choir. Um, you know him. You know who I'm talking about. As soon as, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text you when I'm done with the, I gotta do a photo shoot and, uh, some other things, but tonight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text you. Oh, hold on, hold on, I can, I can send you a, uh, a message, a, a whisper right now. Hold on, I don't even know her last name. Give me a second. I gotta creep a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is it was it was. My name was definitely inquire. Yeah. Um. I feel like like I am drawing a blank entirely, but yeah, we gotta now start thinking about who to raid. Ha! I got it. Uh, R2 Deacon, I definitely sent you the whisper. And like, I was, I'm a real chill person. But like, anywho. Anywho, that aside, I do want to say thank you kindly uh, to everybody that's been kicking with us. I can't believe 180 of you stuck around. Yeah! Thank you so much. Um, I think these need to be a little tighter here. I'm trying to think for my wrists for the hands, right? That way the hands and the wrists are all in the same motif. Uh, come on. Almost use a handler for these. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, no, ask the wife. The wife will know. The wife will know. She was uh, younger than you. Well, no, no. She's older. She was older than She's older than us. She's older than us, but no. Your wife will know. Your wife will know. I don't know if that's too taut. I don't think so. I think that's better. Okay, because I'm saying for the picture, for the photo shoot later, I would like there to be uh, some more accessories on me this time around. Boosh and Char are alive if you fancy raiding a hurdy. Now, so I, I, we actually raided Char last uh, stream, so I don't think we're going to be able to raid her. I want to check, um, I have, so there are a couple Astronomicon friends that would be uh, streaming today, if thing, if they are, um, 
and I want to share the Astronomicon love, but only if they're on. If they're not on, then of course we'll send the love to a uh, another streamer, and hopefully maybe like a herd that's playing Warframe. I think I saw Pocket was on too. Um, again, just doing a little uh, recon, some raid recon right now. Oh, are you? Oh, in two days, not streaming today. Bummer Town 5000. All right. So going up here, let's see. We've got. There are a couple Curdies on right now. And I want to make sure that we share the love. What's Holsey playing? Oh, Fortnite? I think, you know what? I, I think we're gonna send, uh, I think we're gonna send the raid only over to Pocket. It's been a little while, so what I try to do is I try to, I have a spreadsheet where I keep a list of everybody that we raid, just because I do want to make sure that we're spreading the love out and not just raiding the same friends every single time, which, if I didn't keep that raid out, or like keep this list, we probably would be raiding Charizard just because like, I like Pokemon, <laughs> but I like Pocket too. And so this reminds me that, hey, there are other people out there. Make sure that you go and see all of your friends and don't just, you know, walk to the one closest to you. <laughs> so uh, we are going to send this love train over to Pocket. Now there's a couple reasons why. One, she's currently playing Warframe. Two, she's a herdy and we love her. Three, she might be hitting MR29 today. If Can we hit MR29 today? So since the Warframe stream raided Angry Unicorn, Angry Unicorn, bless me with your guys' presence, I'm going to whiplash you guys back. You've had a couple hour reprieve from Warframe. Let's get back into an orbiter, into the Tenno business. Um, and let's go wake up. Uh, let's go wake up Pocket. Make sure she, make sure she's on her toes and ready for that MR-29. Um, unfortunately, I will not be able to linger too long in her stream. I do have to toss a lurk because I will have to go and do a photo shoot. So, um, I will be setting up cameras and different lighting to photo all the work that we did. But alas, I will see you guys tomorrow. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I'm going to power everything up. Um, yeah. We've got star days. I'm so excited. We've got star days tomorrow. So we will, uh, I have it set from 2 p.m. to 6, but it might only be a 2 to 5. I might, like, hit up Ticker, shake him down for all that he's got, and then, like, boot, scoot, and boogie, hit the road. Um, but we'll, we'll be around. If you guys see me, I definitely squat up for a couple things, right? Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm going to do one last toss of my socials in chat. Oops. Making sure that I don't have a mod sending me messages. Just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything in particular. Um, I'm going to drop a 30 second ad as I try to get everything geared up and going for our raid. So pardon me. I'm just going to one more ad and I'm sorry. I love you all. Um, as we get ready for the raid, if you would like to uh, join us on Discord, I'm going to toss the Discord link uh, in chat as well. Uh, la -ta -ta. The next... I'll wait for the end, uh, that way we get free channel. Um. Oh, thank you so much, Roland. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, too. Uh, just a friendly reminder, I already know when our next FX stream is going to be. So if you have been enjoying what's happening on January uh, and February, today, this one was a little mild. We did a little mild, more artistic in uh, painting. Um, March is going to be a, I'm going to only say it once right now, March is going to be a liquid gold extravaganza. Uh, so if, if you want to see more prosthetics, liquid gold, um, orange wig, March, the only time I'm going to say about it. Uh, and I have it right there. March 10th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is going to be our next FX stream. But again, Community Day. It's on the 20th, so don't forget that. All right, we are going to raid Pocket. Here we go.
here we go. Uh, make sure you toss all those fuzzy stitch bum bums inside Pockets channel. I will see you guys tomorrow.